Guess what time it is. It's moon time. <laughs> Sorry, I was finishing something up. Okay. Happy Moon Day. Is it Moon Day? I gotta think of the order of the kanji. Nope. Caught you! Goodbye, Dan. Dan gave me my birthday gift yesterday. It was very sweet of him. Let me get the keyboard so I can do this. That was a thousand bits from a little light one with Dan. The Dan emote. What did do, I get? Do, he... do, do, do. It's my sailor moon. Mouse? Uh, he got me one of the Animal Crossing Lego sets. It was very sweet. I'm very excited to put it together. We have a 21 month resub from Coralon22. Thank you. 37 months from Alice Forsyth. 29 months from Ellie Drew. 27 months from Devoid Art. <laughs> Future Mal builds? Maybe. He's like, you could do it on stream. He's like, you can also just like do it for fun. So. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Probably just gonna do it for fun because I still have big canvas to paint. Which set? Um, it's the one with Isabel and Fauna. <laughs> Big canvas. Yeah, I also have little canvas, the grease side to paint. I haven't worked on it. Been too busy. Uh, we have a nine month resub from Cosplay Theory. 44 months from Rainbow Zuaden. 350 bits from Radio Dread, who says Clown plus Moon Roulette. Who wins? I believe it was Clown, because I think I was coming upstairs when I heard it. We have 300 bits from Anne, who says, A snoring puppy, leftover tasty cabbage and bacon, and a moon stream. What an excellent Tuesday afternoon. That sounds lovely. I had leftover curry. Oh my god. It's a thousand bits from the Slick Duke with the Masay Chaos. With Mifa. That was cute. <laughs> Why does he have teeth? That was a thousand bits from Jay's book with a uh, Del Cake uh, surprise. That was definitely a surprise. Thank you for catching that. <laughs> Why toes? I don't know. I don't think the toes are my problem. The teeth are the problem I have. We have a 45 month resub from Corin Silver. 500 bits from Marty Griff who says, uh, good vibes, you can beat Flappy Bird today with no power issues. Also the fishing. <sighs> we'll see what happens. I wrote out after breakfast stream what we have left in like the ideal order I think it should happen. The problem is, is I don't know what in-game day we're at. If we are at, um, what do I need? I didn't write down the days. I know day I need it to be soon. If we were at like Coins Day, that would be perfect. Just absolutely perfect if we're at Coins Day. <gasps> I also have the hiccups because I'm drinking a Coke. Um, Anise gifted a sub too. Stark844. Thank you for the gift sub. Sam says, I think it's Solar Day. Bakagyu says, I think it's the day before fishing, which would be Coins Day. That would be good. We can sleep till Coins Day. That would also be fine because we still have to see Yoshida one more time at night for school. I wrote out notes. <laughs> I was like, we gotta do this. I started by like writing like a, like a brainstorming of like, okay, we gotta see Yoshida. This is an event. We have to do um, this. This is an event. We have to go do this. Uh, we have to go see the mayor at Club Techno one more time on one of these three days. Crescent Day, Tears Day, or Coins Day. That's an event. And then I had all of those as bubbles. 
and some of those have to happen before others. So, like, for example, we have to go, um... Sorry. <laughs> we have to go see Kenji at Wildcat House before we go and do this. So, like, and then I started drawing lines about, okay, here to here, but these two, these ones have to go together, so I drew all that up. Oh, we are on Echo Day? I mean, uh, the bat says, I looked it up. You are on the day with the, the this symbol. That's Echo Day. Good. Echo Day is um, exactly where we need it to be. Perfect. <laughs> I can't believe you stole a rainbow, a robot's brain for science. He didn't want it. <laughs> we have a 25 month uh, resub from Flip Mental. Thank you. We just finished a hype train, too. Uh, 300 bits from Pastry Bear Plays, who says Moon. He's back! We have 901 bits from Grabobly. Thank you for that. <laughs> that was a thousand bits from the leaf uh, who caught Mike was uh, Sasuke. <laughs> I had to think about it. How that name got changed. <laughs> Brabbit gifted a sub too. Pipe power. Thank you for the gift sub. Uh, 300 bits from Zelda Master who says, So after years of waiting to no avail, I decided to install our favorite uh, red fruit translation of Mother 3 on my 3DS. I'm on chapter 2, and yeah, it's going to be tough to see uh, Nintendo translate this. Great game, though. It is a great game. I don't think it's as tough. They just gotta up the rating. That's fine. Radio Dread says, I'm in chapter 7 on the, um, NSO. Yep. How's it going, Radio Dread, playing it in Japanese? Have I started Warm Hands of Ghosts yet? Um, Tree Keeper, I saw you this morning say, like, when will they learn my name is pronounced this? And I've already forgotten. Um, I did start it. I'm on chapter four. It's downstairs. I just got through the seance scene. Maybe that's chapter two. I can't remember. Uh, King Karan says, a couple more days until Mother 3 switch icons. I think so. I think it's Wednesday. Echo, that's what it was. Thank you, Tiger Tiger. I will try to remember that. Radio Dread says, Thursday is the Mother 3 icons. And going well, I can read the Japanese, so that's not my issue. The comboing, though. Ooh, yeah, the comboing. I'm not good at that. So Thursday's the Mother 3 switch icons. Uh, and it's Echo. Thank you, Echo. And you grabbed it the other day because of me. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, I am liking it so far. Um, uh, for those of you who hadn't heard, there's um, a book that just came out called The Warm Hands of Ghosts that I'm reading. And um, I really like the author. Um, she wrote a series called The Winter Night Series, which I really loved. And I follow her on Instagram, and I've been looking forward to this book coming out because I've liked her other books so much. Steven in the restroom? Yep, he is. <laughs> Nito's concerned by the title of the book. Um, I am told, based on what I've seen the author write on Instagram, there is some slight spooky about the book. So, um... Uh, the author has written some slight spooky books before, so um, I'm looking forward to seeing how spooky. It's a book uh, set around World War One, um, so we'll see. 
I'm curious to see how it is. Um, the Winter Night series that I had liked from her that she wrote prior has a little spooky occasionally. There's just a few little spots. It's a retelling of a Russian folklore, the Winter Night series is. But Warm Hands of Ghosts, uh, I'm pulling from memory what the plot synopsis is, and I'm only on like chapter three because I haven't had a ton of time to read. Um, it's about a girl who was in Europe for World War I as a nurse and got sent home to Canada. And then her brother goes missing because he's in World War I, like, trenches. And, like, they're saying he's dead, but, like, there's signs he's not, and it's, like, supposed to be spooky. So we'll see. I'm excited to read it. Hey, Roland. That was a 601 bits from Grabobly with um, Delkex Roll Kirby emote. And Gold Lightning gifted a sub to Kirby with toes. Amara says, I've heard very, very good things about Bear and the Nightingale. Yes, that's the first book of Winter Night. I really liked it. It's a retelling of um, the Snow Maiden fairy tale about the couple who wants a daughter and they were given a girl made of snow. And it's also partly, I know it as Jack Frost, the Mystery Science Theater episode. Um, like that plot of that movie is also like a fairy tale and like that's part of Bear and the Nightingale. <laughs> yes, Dr. Sock. So I was amused reading the book because I was thinking of Mystery Science Theater the whole time, but I do really love the book. An anonymous gifter gifted a sub to B. Shrimpy. Yeah, Steven's in the bathroom. He'll be out soon. <laughs> Tokunut, uh just plucked up that Pikmin, like Olimar would. The green Pikmin. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ooh. Hi. How's everybody doing? You doing good? <laughs> Sorry. I've been a little sick. Who is that critter? I have no idea. I don't know which critter that is. Who is Urshif? Urshifu. Urshifu. 1892 from Golang says, Are you ready for disco only soon? No, I mean, not soon. It's in, it's in a it's while. It's a bear that punches. A bear that punches. So, like, Hitmonchan. Good boy. Sort of. Good kitty. We already got a punching Pokemon. That's <laughs> Hitmonchan. What about, um, Electric Kitty? Electric Kitty? There, there, Grandma. Let's get you to bed. Okay. Sarah Aura. Sarah Aura. Yes. Zara ra 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 ra. <laughs> Zara. God. Ah. Uh, my poor stomach. I'm sorry. Oh my. Will poor Kepi stomach. help? I'm telling you, it's them pot stickers. Yeah. Hey, good vibes. That's from Marty Griff. I'll take those and apply them to my stomach. Sorry, I drank wrong. <coughs> God, we are pitiful. <laughs> like, I'm like, Ugh, and you're like, I forgot how to drink. Like, they're, everyone's just going to feel real sad. Be like, y'all okay? Y'all good? And the answer is like, no. No, no. no. Did you tell them about the pot stickers? No, I did not. Uh, I think it was the pot. Oh, got chess. This. Oh, no, that's so sad. I just sometimes inhale and try and drink at the same time. We, 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 we got these pot stickers. Yeah. And 
I suspect we didn't cook them all the way through. Don't say we. I didn't you cook them all the way them. through. You cooked them. And and when we got them up, when we I got the plate, I was like, hmm, these aren't like super, super hot, but that's fine. And I suggested we pop them in the microwave for a few minutes because the other directions, instead of skillet frying, were microwave. And then you didn't. <laughs> this is my fault. Anyway, Mao had like two... They weren't very good And was either. like, these don't taste good. And I was like, I am starving and I am going to eat these. So I ate the entire tray. And, um... Hi, you. You need picked up, I haven't you? felt great since then. Oh, my God. I think that's the head of uh, Urshifu. Hi, darling. You need to I'm pretty sure. Okay. That's a thousand bits of Sapphire Becca with the... The, 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 the prayer bearer. That's Urshifu, I believe. Golly gee. You wanna hug? What is happening today? What a bad tummy day. Oh no. Oh that's worse. Yeah, take that thing away. Oh that was here earlier. It came back. Oh he escaped the ship. He did. That was from Tiger Tiger. With Kirby feet. Why does he have teeth? God, I didn't even know this, the teeth. That's that's the part that bothered me, was the teeth. That's the part that bothered uh -huh. you? Sorry, I'm trying to decide what's going to happen to me. Okay. Whew. What a rough one. Maybe I should take a... Like a... Like a, like a Kirby. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe I should eat Kirby. That was from Grabobly. Willow Kirby. That Kirby don't got no feet. No. It's because the other one got him. <laughs> yeah, like a Tums. We have Tum. Is the Tums right in there? Uh, if they're not there, they're in the You're Over 30 box. Oh, we might have moved them to the... I don't think there are any in there. I think. Well, you downstairs. probably need this Pepto, honestly. Pepto? Mm -hmm. Pepto-Bismol? I don't think we even have any. We have in the past. We might got like a pill. That's fine. Pill version. All right. Everyone, I want you to place your bets on the year that the Pepto-Bismol expired. I'm going to go find one, and I want everyone to place your bets on the year, the expiration date. Okay? So go ahead. Go ahead and let's get that started. 2027. Oh, you have way too much faith. Go ahead and put your guesses in. He's coming back, Kepler. You don't need to follow him. He will come back. It will all be okay. And you don't have to get up. I know we have concerns. Oh. Oh. Scratching his ear doesn't really help much. It doesn't make him forget. Steven is his favorite person. <laughs> Jess says, but what if he come never comes back? This one is the time. He doesn't even go far. He's literally, like, right here, like, just on the floor. Kepler. An anonymous gifter gifted some too intelligent one. Thank you. Also, too, Sam I R, a salty cat and toast grandchild. Thank you for the gift subs. Did you find yes. any? Yes. Good. Did, has he had a food? Or? He, I have not given him food since wet. He food. Yes, there was bismuth. It's true. I'm going to take some of these. And the, the question is, who is right? <laughs> Maximan says, uh, I how does I it feel to be second favorite? And Goldmage says, she might be third. I think Brandon is in the running for second. All yeah, right. Brandon is definitely second. For everyone who said the expiration date was a cool 13 years ago, 2011. The winner is 2011. Anyway. <laughs> oh. 
why would you take it? I'm not gonna die. And if I did, I got my life for free, so... Seems fine. Also, I do want you to know that I've taken one of these as recently as last year. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm pretty sure it worked last time. I felt like it did something. Either that or the placebo is um, strong. Listen, I'm not going to throw away medicine. I paid for it. Clearly, I'm not using it very often. If we've bought one box... And it's lasted this long. <laughs> Chaz, that's very good. <laughs> it's unclear if you paid for it or if you got it as a high school graduation present. Radio Dread says, you've had it since you got Skyrim. Congrats. No, no, no. 2011 is the expiration date. Which means that it was manufactured and put in stores well before that. I don't know what the shelf life is. If it's a year, then it would have been 2010. It could be as much as like three years, which means I would have got it in like 2008 or 2009. So I probably got it... I graduated from high school in 2007, so it's probably from college. I probably bought that at some point in college. And I was like, oh, I, I need a bismuth. And I got a bismuth. And I've had that package of bismuth until today. That's most likely what happened. And um, you know what? That's fine. Now, I think I, my, my lawyers want me to, to say <laughs> that, that this is not medical advice. It's not medical advice. Please consult your doctor about how long you should have a medicine. Uh, and generally don't trust me when it comes to, uh, Anything. well, I mean, I know some things okay. I could, I know about like a camera. Okay. I know there is more. Anyway, please tell this story on Disco Only tonight. See, this isn't even like a, a, a worthwhile story to me. I'm like, this is just daily life. That's probably not the oldest thing in there. Three into bits from Jacebook says, curb forward, curb forward, curb forward, rally, rally, curb forward. M tomato, curb forward. 45 months from Skanork, 56 months from Silvana. <laughs> Chaz, all, the, all of those other three boys would be, yep, sounds right, I probably have older medicine. You never, you never know. A new friend's quest just started with Chaz. I do want everyone to know that we did replace condiments. Yes, we did get rid of all our condiments. As recently as um, the last house. Because the power went out for too long, tossed everything. Yeah. Things that never expire. Medicine. Oh, God. Condiments. Mm, disagree. Not all condiments. Some condiments expire. Some condiments, eh, maybe, kind of. Honey is kind of it. There's there's some condiments that like you should replace, and there's other condiments that like that date. That's a bit of a suggestion. Anyway, yeah, Tokenut says mustard lasts forever. Agreed. Agreed. How horrifying a mindset. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Look at that little jiggle bunny. That's from Dr. Zock. Blobs, man. It is like a little, like a Dragon Quest slime, but if it had ears. Honey, yeah, honey literally does not go bad. Like, that's like science. <laughs> that's just science. Honey doesn't go bad. Oh, 
Mamma mia! We have not yet found the date that Honey Goes Bad. Scooby Cool says, I definitely have mayo that's a year old in my fridge. Now, mayo! Well, the like, mayo package on the front porch. Like, may yeah, I mean, mayo's. Mayo can be not great, but also, mayo does have a really long shelf life. You would think it doesn't, because you're like. Because there's eggs in it, but like, they. That stuff is so chock full of preservatives. So, it's not like, ah, it only lasts two weeks. Like, when you buy a mayo, if you buy, like, a normal mayo company, whatever it is. What's the normal mayo? The, the mayo everybody knows. Anyway, mayo. Normal mayo. When you buy normal mayo, if you look at the day, it, it, it's like... Hel yeah, Hellman. I wasn't thinking of Hellman's. Are you thinking of Duke or Cupy? I'm not thinking of Duke or Cupy. What am I thinking of? Anyway, normal mayo. When you have, is it Heinz? <laughs> Miracle Whip, whatever. Anyway, all these, all these. If you look at the date when you buy them, they're good for like a year, or something. Your pants are here, and the thing that you wanted it uh, for the other thing is here. I love that. We had 1792 from T3 Stare, who says, "Got to get these Moon Pokemon while Moonstream is still going." Hashtag Lunala. Appropriate. Appropriate while I was in the middle of talking about mayo. Like, if you're making homemade mayo, then yeah, it's probably not going to last very long. But the ones you buy from the store, they're, they're, they have so many preservatives, it's fine. We buy Dukes because we live in Carolina. <laughs> Wonder you if say that like a, proud, like a proud patriot. <laughs> Listen, that's the only mayo in Carolina as far as people who are from here are concerned. 500 bits from Marty Griffith says, Where was the world's oldest honey found? The oldest honey ever found was discovered in 2003 and is over 5,500 years old. According to a 2012 report, the oldest honey in the world was found in 2003 in Georgia, west of uh, Tbilisi, uh, amid an oil pipeline installation. It is estimated to be over 5,500 years old. Yeah, Georgia, the country. country. Not the state, not the, yeah. Down in Atlanta, they found the <laughs> oldest honey. Um, right, right behind the Coca-Cola factory. Uh, yeah, the the the, pro the problem is the story leaves out where they tasted it and was like, it's still good. Presumably. Uh, Luth Halfkey gifted a sub to The Real Klong. An anonymous gifter gifted a sub to Neville Anna. And we have 41 months from Happy Oro. Okay. Um, Are you ready? I'm. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, we we should let folks know there is a chance. There is a chance that this stream will be a little short. There's also a chance it will be normal length because I'll be playing so much Flappy Bird. Mal took a look at what is left in Moon. Mm -hmm. I already talked about it. Yeah, and it sounds like there's enough to do. A stream and some change. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna make sure that we try and adjust that where the streams are more equal. Instead of doing mm -hmm. like a full stream today and the next week we're like, well, we did one episode and it's done. Yeah, yeah. Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird is a part of Moon. And uh, fingers crossed we won't lose power today, so we'll actually get to do Flappy Bird. Okay. Are we set? And are we ending off... I don't know what your plan is, because I don't know your, your notes. Are we are we planning, like, to end off the first episode working on... Flappy Bird or... Um, uh, fish? Um... We'll see. So, um, okay. I have, like, three separate things that need done. Yeah. And, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with one of them. And then you're going to try Flappy Bird. And if you don't get it right away, we'll move on to a different thing. Like, right away, like, in one tur one try? If, a try or two, maybe. Okay. I need to give it a few tries every time. Mm-hmm. 
Because you have to, like, re... Your brain has to reacclimate to the insane controls. I also want to talk about... When, when we do Flappy Bird, I want to talk about the other game. Yes. Do you okay. remember what yeah. the name of that game is? Um, yes. It's, um, this. Oh, that's it? I that's thought there it. was another word. Oh, no, you're right. I know. <laughs> you know. I do know. You know. Okay. I think people will find that entertaining and fun. Yeah. Um, I only just learned about it, so it's new for me. I was vaguely familiar with it, but then I looked into what the game was, and I was like, oh, oh that's very funny. All right, uh, we got 37 months from Break All the Pots. And I am pausing alerts. I want everyone to know that I have a note now in front of me that says, do a scoot. It's not important for this stream. No, it's important for Friday. But now I just I, I feel in my heart that I need to do scoots. Juliet appreciates the scoot note. And that's the important part. It helps with shorts productions. That little fanfare that plays, like the wind chimes, yes. I like that. And I just wanted you to know that I like that. You should scoot towards me, though. Speaking of scoot. Yeah. Yeah, trying to even us out. It's me, the love maestro. That's what they called me in college. You need to head straight to Castletown. I need to head straight to Castletown. Yeah, like you need to be there right away in the morning. So, um, am I gonna make it? Yeah, warp yourself there. You'll be right there. Okay. That's. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting there. You want me to eat you up again? Yeah. If if you could, where do you want to go? Um, I would like to go to. Rain, uh, Trump, rain nope, Rainbow Rocks. Rainbow Rocks, right? Yeah, yes. Rainbow Rocks, because that's where the rainbow is. Yes. Oh And the my rocks God. are rainbow. <sighs> You're going to where Shamble sits on Northeast Town. Okay. In the morning when he talks to Yoshida. Yeah. And and what is why why am I trying so desperately to get there? There or like up here? Well, he will move up there. Okay. He's awake. Um, stand a little bit down or there. What am I? Right there. Stand right there. Okay. So they're going to go talk. Yoshida and Shambles? Yeah. And what's going to happen is, um, where are Shambles on my notes? Your Shambles um, is, uh, um, we need them to. S s yeah. He's going to talk to them and like. Walk away and then, like, come back. Because he's going to... There you go. That's what you wanted. Hey, Yoshida. How you doing? Me, I got a sort of thumpy, stinging sensation going on with my heart. It might have been I could have ate something nastier than usual. Like Pepto-Bismol from 2011. What you got? That's lovesick... That's Yoshida. Oh, that's Yoshida. <clears throat> what you got? That's lovesickness, fella. Heartache. What do you know? I'm a hardcore hermit. You want to act like you like that all your life? Fine. Knock yourself out. Just know that before it makes you a man, it makes you a bit of a jerk. Uh, so, um... So, that happened. That happened. What, now, what is the... What is the... He's lovesick. He, so, oh, um... Oh, he's lovesick? Yeah. Okay. So Who he's... Who does he love? He's written a letter to someone, and he threw it away in a trash bin. Do you know where the trash bin is? Do you remember? Uh. No. It's outside Curio Shop. Okay, so I need to go find the leather. Mm -hmm. I do not recall a trash bin, but I want to help him find love. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Compost. There's a scrap of white paper. Shambles love letter. Can you check it? Yeah, can I read it? If I just use it? Mm, I mean, you could show it to someone, but um, it's for someone in town, and he's talked to that person before. Do you remember? She was real upset. 
Oh, is it um the girl that lives in the second floor? Yes, Flora. Of... It's for Flora. Flora. I was just like, mm-hmm. Wanda's upstairs neighbor. What's her daughter? Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because yeah. she had a... Uh, her she and had Florence. A... Flor- uh, Flora's dad is Florence. And Wanda is her mom. And who is Florence again? He's the guy in the mushroom forest. The, 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 the crazy guy on yeah. shrooms yeah. all the time. Yeah. That's right. Okay. I'm, put, I'm, I'm putting it together. Okay. Crazy shroom mushroom man. Yes. And Wanda, the bartender. Had Flora. Had a kid. And that's Flora. Uh-huh. And she lives upstairs. Yes. You should go give her that letter. Will she read it? Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure I hear what the letter says. I mean... She what? doesn't read it out loud. I'm assuming if I show it to Shambles, he'll be very, like, upset. Yeah. He's not going to take it from you. Hey, look. The heck is that? Bring it closer. Let me have a look-see here. Dump, 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 dump. Munch, munch, munch. Mallory, he ate it. Did you know he would... Yeah, I knew he would eat it. What what am I supposed to do now? Uh, You can wait a few days in game and then try again. Oh my god! (laughs) You could also reset because it's the only thing you've done if you don't want to wait. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna load our save. <laughs> we stop the timer. Um, okay, you can't load from in game. I don't think. <laughs> Screen adjust. <sighs> okay, no, I think I have to actually like close the game. And reopen the game. Okay. All right. Hey, y'all, did y'all get your earthbound icons? <laughs> Make sure you get your earthbound icons. You only got a few more days. If you want an earthbound icon. Well, that was, uh, that fun. was, that was fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This, this coming weekend is mother three, assuming that, um, they are released internationally. We're hoping. We're hoping. All right. This is faster than waiting a week in, in game, which is. Uh, I don't know if it's a week in game. Was well, it an Echo Day? No, it doesn't have to be Echo Day. Oh. It just has to be morning. Uh, well, I didn't know that. I thought that was a week, and I was like, I don't want to do that. There are some things that. Um, Rainbow. Do happen once a week. And yeah, there's the... something that's happening solar night that you need to do. And like, there's. Like, for the fishing tournament. Like, eventually we'll get to the point where we're just resetting because we, waiting in the weekend mm-hmm. game would be awful. So. All right. You're back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just wait on this. Now, I'm not exactly sure what triggers the conversation between him and Yoshida. Yeah. Um, You can't talk to them. That won't trigger it. It's just the normal them talking to each other. But I found that if I walk away and, like, come back, then he might, like, call you out and start doing the talk about lovesickness. There it is. Okay. Cool. 
Renee said, let's show him the leather again. <laughs> Maybe this time will be different. Better test it to make sure. <sighs> All right. Okay, so now we have the leather again, and I will not show it to Shambles. I could show it to Yoshida. You could. I don't know what would happen. There is a nervousness in my soul, but I will show it to Yoshida. A love lover from Shambles. Curious as I am, nah, I don't meddle in the uh, passions of others. Okay. He doesn't eat leathers because um, he's a normal bird. He's a normal bird. A normal bird, you know, not like those leather-eating birds. Is she already gone for the day? Uh, where does she go? Oh, because she's the florist. Yes. I mean, could I show her the thing in the florist? Yeah, you can. You just—I don't know exactly where she is. The second. Let's find out. She's still here. Hey, guess what? Hmm? For me? He did? You don't say. Well, let's see. Wow. Wow. Tee hee hee hee. Ahem, excuse me, would you please deliver my reply to him? She doesn't tell us what he wrote. No. Oh, does no one tell us what no, he wrote? No, oh. I don't think so. I mean, well, I didn't go show his to everyone. Yeah, Flora's reply. Okay, how you doing, by the way? You love flowers, okay. <laughs> how you doing? How's the family? I just love flowers. All right, bye. I just sleeps all day and works all night. I've been there. All right, so we'll just go show this to Shambles right away then. Yep. Have these signs been updated at all? Oh yeah, the hero to Spade has finally discovered the last dungeon. Wow, the last dungeon's entrance was in the mad scientist Dr. Steinhager's plan all along. The hero is presently restoring his HP in preparation for the final battle. For the longest time, it was like level two, yeah. and now it's like final dungeon. Hmm? Hmm? Let me inspect that a little closer. Let me see. Ooh. -hoo. Huh. Huh. Ah. Uh, uh. Hey, what are you looking at? That's enough. Scram. So, oh, oh, what? Looky here. Look what's happening here. I think she goes to a store. Oh. Another beautiful day. Ah, it feels nice. Oh, I thought they were gonna... No. Okay. How much no. bait do you have in your inventory and stock? I'm pretty sure... You have one in your inventory. I think it's like one... Uh, tool. Oh, seven. Oh, you're good. Okay, so you don't need to get any bait. Why do you ask? Because you can really only catch five things during the fishing tournament. So you need five bait. Six is good, and you have enough. Yes, okay. So um, you can stock all those for now, because we're not doing that yet. But what, it's do too I need late all, in the day. Do I need all the inventory space? No. Well, then why would I stock them? Okay. I'll throw this in here. I'm not using this, and I don't need bone. Don't need bone. You also don't need the fish. Oh, yeah. I have all these fish. That I guess I could sell, but it's actually quicker to stock them than sell you them. You don't need the money. And I don't need the money. So I might as well stock those. There's only, like, one more thing you have to buy besides paying for uh, the fishing tournament and the Flappy Bird game. Okay. All right. My inventory is beautiful. Okay. Now, now what? The next thing that's going to happen is um, Noge does something Solar Night. At the castle? In his room. Okay. Something happens. Oh, also, I wanted to share a tidbit of something I learned. It's something that, like, I knew. I knew that um, folks that formed Love Delic had uh, previous connections to... Um, Other games? To Square. Mm-hmm. Right? And I know that we've made the connection of, like, ah, you know... 
Noge is Gino, but but the the, yeah. the letters are different. Okay. The character designer for Super Mario RPG and the character designer for Moon are the same person. Oh, it's the character designer? Mm. Like, it's the exact same person. So, you need to yeah. Room. I just, I wanted to point that out because that's something I only learned recently. So, even though I was like, ha, square, it's like the same person. Um... Literally the same guy. So yeah, it's that's probably why. So if anything, if you ever get any kind of Super Mario RPG vibes, um, that is appropriate because right before uh, he worked on Moon, his the last game that he had worked on was Super Mario RPG. Is this Snow Gay? Yes. Yeah. I'm inside. You're just gonna like hang out in here. Okay. I would hang out down, down, like, right, down a little bit more. There, yeah, let's hang out there. Does it matter? I don't actually know. And I don't actually know when this starts. I just know at night be in his room. All right, well, we are, we are here. Just hanging out with no gay. Just chilling, hanging with our homie. <laughs> what other interesting things did I learn? The... Oh, oh, something's happening. Hey, a chew heart. You know, looking at Bilby makes me understand humans' hearts a little. No, Gay, you've done it. Your dadsy is so proud of you. Dadsy? It seems you have overcome your loneliness and understood humans. You have nothing else to learn. <laughs> at all. Hurry back to us. Your mumsy has missed you too. Yeah! Um... Okay. So the next thing you have to do is um, at night on a Crescent Day, Tears Day, or Coins Day, you have to be in the courtyard. All right. How? So what was the information that led to me knowing about this? Um, what triggers this to happen is turning in all five rocket parts. But how do we know... What's the information that lets us know that no gay... I have no idea. Okay. I don't know if you do. What? I don't know if you just are supposed to stumble across it. Oh, hi. Hi. You can't stand on the clipboard. Okay. Well, it's uh, the middle of Solar Day night. What should I be doing now? Um. Is there anything else to take care of in Castletown? Besides seeing that, no. This is it for Castletown. Okay. Well... Where should I go next? You could just hang out in the courtyard until, um... Oh, because it's the next day? Crescent day? Yeah, let's see, it's solar now. This is Crescent next? Cres Crescent is next. Oh, so I can just chill here. Yeah. Okay, that is probably the... Oh! They're like, you spent too long in the castle. All right, I'll just chill. Hello, Kepler. And while that's going, I'm going to double check the thing that I was pretty sure on, but I want to know. Hello, give child. A, give me a moment. We had a scoop. We went to the litter box. And now we're in lap. What more does Kepler want? Yeah. Okay. So and Dan can include this just because I think this is interesting information. So uh, Kurashima Kazuyuki the art director, worked on uh, Live Alive and as a character designer, Super Mario RPG as a character designer, then Moon as a character designer, and continued to be character designer, designer for UFO, Indonesia, Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land, did the monster design for Little King's Story. Very cool. 
And then the other thing is that the composer and sound designer, uh, Hirofumi uh, Taniguchi, did the music for Suikoden, the music for UFO, the sound design for LOL, the sound design for Indonesia, did the music and sound design for Chulip, and the music for Chibi Robo. Mm. So the composer for Chulip is the same composer for Chibi Robo, and I thought that was neat too. Anyway, both of those guys are now working along with Kimura at Onion Games, so it's kind of neat that there's all the, the crossover stuff there. I thought that was really neat. So we're just waiting on... Uh, Thing. Night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Circle Now Squared says, I don't know most of those games. The UFO LOL in Indonesia are all Japanese games. Um, they never got localization. A lot of them worked on, like a lot of the same people worked on that and Chulip and... Yeah. Or, what is this? I have no idea. <laughs> mumble, mumble. Well, they had switched. Remember? Yeah, they had switched. <laughs> Maybe this is them talking about it. Oh, mumble, mumble. Bizarre. Very bizarre. Okay. <laughs> Neat. Um, oh, what was the other thing I was going to say about the, the games? Oh, so uh, Love Delic uh, formed in uh, 95, 97, I don't know. The, they released Moon, mm -hmm. which was the first game. And then they released um, two other games, and that was UFO and LOL. And those games haven't been localized, but uh, we got Moon, man. It only took 20-something years, so maybe we'll get the other two. Uh, UFO... What's UFO's full name? A Day in the Life? A Day in no. the Life. Yeah. And LOL is uh, Lack of Love. And uh, one, of them's, one of them is for... PlayStation? UFO is for PlayStation and LOL is for Dreamcast. Yeah. Sounds right. So those are the other Love to Lit games. Um, and that, that would be neat if we got those. I don't know if we ever will, but there's fan translations. Of one of them. Of one of them. And then Kimura uh, started... Punchline and Punchline made Chulip, Chulip and Rule of Rose, mm -hmm. and then Pun and that was it, right? They only made two games. And yes. Who made Indonesia? One of the other ones. Okay. The other two companies are Skip and Vanpool. Mm, I think it's Vanpool. So one of them did that. One of them did um, Chibi Robo. Mm. What's happening here? Weren't we supposed to see Noge? At night. Oh, at night. Oh, okay. I thought it was the day. All right. Oh, there's Noge. Hi, buddy. Is that like a Fisher Price alien ship? Yes. No, okay. It has been too long. Have you been well? Dadsy. Well then, shall we go home? Yeah. Oh, no, gay. Mr. Bilby, today's my last day. I'm going home. Mr. Bilby, won't you come with me? No, gay kid. I'm sorry. I gotta stay here. I got work to do. For example, if I left, who'd wake up Fred every morning? Ah, oh, shucks. Well, I'm gonna go home now. Farewell, Bilby. Crushed that flamingo. It did, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I love that. Well? <laughs> well? Well, indeed. I really loved that spaceship. I did, too. What a... what? <laughs> Definitely Fisher-Price energy. Okay, uh, sure. Well, what's next on the agenda? Um, Club Techno? Oh, my God. All the way back there? Yeah. Because we gotta talk to the mayor one more time. Does that have to happen on a certain day? Mayor is, uh, the next day is Tears Day. 
which is in two nights that you talk to him. Okay, well, I'll probably go back to my, my normal house and then sleep. Okay. Talk to Moon Queen, see what she's up to. Same as always. <laughs> Same as it ever was. All right, time for a long trek back. <laughs> well, that happened. Kepler, I love you, but you do not make this easy. Little guy. Down. Oh, yeah, I could have eaten the octolips. I mean, now I'm back. Yeah. Do I have one of those left? You have two right now. I have two octolips? And you need one for the fishing tournament. Okay. I will sleep in the bed. Oh, my God, it's school time. Good evening. Hello, Chew. Let's go to school together. I love it when I've been in bed for 10 seconds and someone walks into my room and says, time to go to school. It's like when you have those dreams you've forgotten to take a test or study for a test. How much more school could there be? This is the last one. Today I have sad news. I've reached mandatory retirement age. After tonight's class, bird law states that I must retire. Therefore, tonight's lecture will be my last. Conveniently, I have just one more topic I need to discuss. Whoa, this sounds good. That is, love. Love? Love? I don't know who said that. Top but. right. Yes, my final lecture concerns love. Let's begin with a question. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Wow, I ain't ever heard such a tough question. Within a dream, the moon goddess whispers, if you are full of love, the door will open. On that stone slab they found in my village, it was written that this world is full of love. And Chu is out there collecting love. Yes, yes, love hides in untellably many crannies of this world. Am I the only one who doesn't even know what love is, though? Class, learn from Yoshida's honesty. Never be afraid to declare when you don't know something. A declaration of ignorance is the first step in the journey to knowledge. So, who can answer the question, what is love? One among you stands, frightfully close to the answer. Uh, who'd you mean? I am referring to Chu. Chu. Pretty good. Yeah, Chu, you go, buddy. What exactly is love? This question haunts us. Sure does. You needn't answer right away today. Consider this your homework until we meet again in some night sky somewhere. We find our own answers. 100 people, 100 unique loves. Well then, as of tonight, Midnight University enters a hiatus. Farewell, my Midnight University students. Please, never stop studying. Goodbye. See ya. Bye-bye, Teach. I was reading a little bit about this, and maybe you know, um, that the Midnight University stuff only happens if you get to like a certain love level. Yes. Which means I'm assuming it's possible to beat the game and never see any of this. Yes. Um, it only happens after you go do the Bali Bali Island stuff. And then after you do that with the monkeys and yeah. get the signal liquor, because you have to do that to get the signal liquor to get the rocket ship. Yeah. You have to go talk to Yoshida to trigger it and you have to get to a certain thing before it happens. Yeah. There's, there's 30 love levels in the game, mm -hmm. and I believe that you have to get to, like, level 28. I have it written down. Or something? Um, 28. But yeah. But you can finish the game at 22. So it is possible to have never seen any of the Midnight mm -hmm. University stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's really interesting. Well, I know what I gotta do, which is I gotta go back and restart my business from scratch. I gotta put all this knowledge to use. So you get a love from doing all of the Midnight Universities. Yes, from and, Yoshida. And there were like four of them. There were four. That's a lot. Let's see what love you've gathered today, Chu. 
So, Noge finally went back home. Shambles and Flora, acquitted at last. Yoshida's ready to try again, thanks to you and Professor Ao. For your next level, you'll need six more love. Love still dots this world. Please, seek out this gathered love. Collect a lot of it, please. I'll try. <laughs> but I gotta play Flappy Bird and catch some fish. That's the hardest thing. I mean, so it is uh, Blaze Day. It's Blaze Day. You need it to be Tears Night. When but is... you can get to Club Techno. And then wait. And wait, but you can also play Flappy Bird. Not that time progresses there. Sure. Um, I need to go to... Uh, tropical. Tropical Fields. I want to go to the tropical fields so I can go into a lab and then go to Technopolis. There is... Um, there is a map. The only time I think you get to see the map is in Gramby's home. I believe it's also in your home. Ah, uh, okay. So. But Technopolis is, like, up in the northeastern corner. Yeah. My Hager badge has been verified. We love that. We love that for me. I talked to these things last time. Yeah. Like, sometimes you get to talk to them. During the day. They're asleep at night. They're hanging upside down. No. Oh. See, I think that it's night, but it's not. We're not actually at night. No. It's just dark. It's always dark here. It's me, premium member. I say that every time I walk into the Costco. <laughs> it's me, premium member. I'm here for my $3.49 lunch. Time to tube. I tubed. So, Club Techno. Well, yeah. Club but Techno's where the mayor shows up, but it's not tonight. It's like in 24 hours from yeah. now. And Flappy Bird does not progress time. No, only when you're in between time. But I want to play Flappy Bird. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play Flappy Bird. I'm going to play Flappy Bird because it's important that I play Flappy okay. Bird. That's my opinion on, like, life. Okay. My opinion on life is it's important I play Flappy Bird. It's a game. G Genghis Khan. It's a game. It sure is. All right. Let's give this another shot. Level one. Ready. Sometimes when you're away from something for a while and then you come back to it, you, you like, get better. You like idiots have on it. Yeah. I mean, that's how your brain works, right? Like you, you, you're away from something, and then like at over in the night, your brain like figures out the problems. Yes. It's 
so hard. You could let some in-game in time pass and talk about um, Onion Games' other game. <sighs> Flappy Bird, I'm sorry, Genghis Khan, has a very particular feel to it, right? Like, it's, fla it's Flappy Bird. Onion Games, a few years ago, released a new game called Mon Amour. And in Mon Amour, it's Flappy Bird. It's the same game. In fact, I feel almost certain they took the code, like, right out of Moon and just pasted that into a new video game. And what do you do in Mon Amour? Remember, this is from Kimura. So what could you possibly do? You kiss people. You yeah, play. You you go and you kiss. <laughs> you play as a man, who is who is like Flappy head, Bird <laughs> head first, and you have an entire list of people that you have to kiss, and you have to collect their love. It this. I don't know. I feel like Kimura has a very particular set. It's like Tulip Flappy Bird. Anyway, it's it came out a few years ago. It's available like on the Switch eShop. I think it's probably also on PlayStation. I think it's on Steam too. So um Yeah. Anyway, they got a they really got a lot of uh, mileage out of this when they made it back in 97 or whatever. Um I'm going to try it one more time while I'm waiting. Dan doesn't have to include all these, but he already knows that. Not everyone can can take much of like the flashing grid and the, the terrible me, music. Me, me, me. <laughs> yeah, sorry everyone for the flashing lights. They didn't uh, consider anyone's safety in uh, the late 90s. Honestly, it's really only been a thing for like a few years mm -hmm. that people have been like, wait, maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> like not not just for folks that uh, suffer, suffer from epilepsy, but just also like just general people are like, we don't really want to see Yeah, lights. we don't like that. Like the human brain is not a fan of that? This is a center level five, which is pretty good. I want to keep it centered. What in God? As a reminder, it keeps the momentum from, the last from level. when you hit the, the globe. So if on the end of level four, you hit it while going up, when you start level five, it holds that momentum and just shoots. Ugh. I'm pretty consistently getting to level five. Though. Yeah, that's better than I was getting. So like that's good. Mm -hmm. um, that tells me that I'll I'll probably do it. Yes, I'll probably be able to do it. Probably. Okay, that's honestly episode length. Mm -hmm. So um, I vote that we start the next episode in the techno club doing the thing. Okay. But it also tells me that I can have a little time here to do this. <laughs> Cause I do need to do, this is something that has to get done. Um, which is, you know, a rough thing. Here's what I'm going to do for just a little short time, just a little short time. Give me a sec. For just a little short time. This won't be the rest of the stream, but just for a little short, little short time. I'm going to turn alerts on, and I'm going to uh, put them here so I can, like, see them. We love it when we can read 
Yes. Reading is important. All right, so I'm gonna have, oh, no, no. Sure. Yeah, that, that's functional. Okay, let me uh, switch this back and then turn on alert sounds so you I turn can hear on, alerts. Turn off game volume. Yes, because otherwise it will drive us nuts. Yeah. All right, let me try to do this. Monitor off. We had 50 months from Jacket K, 32 months from Omega Kayla, and 45 months from Phoenix Zuzo. Thank you. There's also an art in the queue. Let's just take a peek at that quick. Oh, oh that's cool. very cool. That the is color. super cool. Oh, do you see cool. the background? Oh, it's, oh man. I, d I barely noticed that. Yeah, it's motion. Very cool. That is very, very cool. The, I think one of the things I like about video games like this is that they're so imaginative and creative, and it's like multiple things. And I think I really am drawn to that. And, and that's the same thing as like concepts in Tulip and concepts in Earthbound. Like there's just these really weird parts of it, and there's lots of them. Yeah. And I just really like that. Sorry, Kepler. I startled you. Okay, so for Dan's reference, I think I think it made it clear that last episode is over. This episode, I have alerts on, so you guys can just send in alerts if you need to. I'm gonna do Flappy Bird a few times, and then when I either do it or I am done and my heart can't take it anymore, we'll go to the Techno Club and start the next episode, and that's gonna be my um, my plan. God, all right, all right, because this again. This does have to. This does have to happen in order uh -huh. to one hundred percent the game. <sighs> Hit me again. We're not going to run out of money, right? I hope not. You got to be able to buy one more thing. This is only ten. Yeah. So probably not. You could always go sell stuff. I can always go sell stuff. The scariest ones are when they're high or low. Yeah. Radio Dread says, you wanna? Let's gonna. I'll let you do talking, because if I talk, I feel like That's I'll, I'll lose the video game. Leaf says, I know the physics change from level to level, but are those changes the same every time or completely random? I feel like they're random, but I can't pick no, up on no, it. No, no, no. They're the same. They're the same? They're the same. Okay. It's, it, it basically is... It's in, more sensitive. It's increasing the sensitivity each level. Mm. By the time you get to level five, you can die very easily. So if you've missed before, what happens is you hold down the button to go up and you let down the button to fall. You can also miss the planet. Yeah, that's also and not that's good. That's also bad. Yes! Boom! Boom shakalaka! Bam! Got it! Cool. 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 I guess that's starting the episode. Hi, welcome back to Moon. I did it. How many times in total have I played this game? I don't know how many you did last week, but this was three today. I think it was probably less than 15. Yeah. Maybe more than 10, less than 15. God, I'm glad that's over. I'm so glad it's over. Whoo. Whoo-wee. All right. And there's that. That's it. It just gives you a heart, and you're that's, like, well, good job. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, well. <laughs> Good. Now we gotta um, go over to Club Techno. Club Techno and wait until night to see the mayor. To talk to the mayor. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Does a uh, robot have anything to say? This robot? Did we talk to him since we got rid of his brain? He, yeah, I mean, we <laughs> talked to him right after we got rid of his brain, and it seems that his brain is still missing. We took his brain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's missing because we took it. Whew. Lord, I'm glad that's over. That Me was, too. That was that was a rough. It was it was also awful to like continually get to level five and then be like, well, I keep falling off the bottom. I'm assuming he's going to be in the same spot. Yeah, he always is. I'm waiting on you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, God. Whew. Yeah, if we get the fishing set, mm -hmm. that's the last real difficult part. And anyone that has seen the few attempts that we've done at the fishing knows that it's it's crazy. It is, it's not even skill. It's like, I mean, there's some skill, but it's, it's RNG. Boop. The game can just be like, you don't get to win. Try next week. You got a shoe. But, you know, supposedly there is a trick, so. Mm. No. <laughs> nah, sorry. I already don't answer the door. I'm certainly not answering the door for that. <laughs> nah. Good luck. We don't need to admit anything. There, there's a lot of solicitation. Do you want a drink? I'm fine. I want some water. I can't. I can't go downstairs though, because I can't let anyone here. Yeah. Be coming down the stairs. <laughs> it's Tom. <laughs> it's Tom. I would. I would answer the door for Tom. It's true. Oh, actually, actually, what? Okay, first off, pause it if you need to. I'm okay. Gonna use the, I have to. I'm use the bathroom. Not not a long. Just a not a long. And then I have a bottle of water in here. Okay. Let's get the keyboard or the. Hello, Kip. Almost nighttime. He's coming back, sweetheart. That's not what I quite wanted. We'll do that. I'm not going to put on an MD. There's going to be one playing in a second once the club music starts. reorganizes inventory. I could stock stuff. Like, um, we don't need this anymore. Uh, we don't need this anymore. I don't think we need the crown. Is this the, yeah, this is the trash firework. There, that looks better. We never actually used the bloom lingual? Oh man. Didn't we do it to talk to the flowers and flora shop? I don't think we talked to them in um, the canyon, but I thought we talked to the fl flowers in the shop that were like, or am I just thinking of my memory from playing it before? <laughs> Whoops, I just told them what to do. <laughs> Wonderful. Welcome back. Hi, it's me. Ooh, okay. Oh, are we at night? Yes. Oh. 
great. We love that. We love to be a knight. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Yes, we can. Okay, so Robo Mayor is here. Yeah, go talk. I see. She recharges at the club. So even while dancing. Ah, so that's what the club is for. Sounds like something the doctor would come up with. I think I finally get why he designed Lady to like dancing so much. That's a weight off my shoulders. We needed to talk about this <laughs> yeah, for a long time to figure out what was happening. Now that I know, I feel better. I, well. The next thing you can do is there is, um, do you remember Papa's was writing a comic? Yeah. So you have that and then there's something else out that way. Okay. Um, yeah, is this comic done? It should be by now. All right. Well, it's yeah. something like uh, a week in game from the whole episode with Darlus. Okay. And, and I'm pretty pro sure it's been a week in game. Okay. Um, should I just octolip over there? You can. You have two and you need one for a thing. It just takes so you long. You have to eat it. Oh. It takes so long to... um. You're also going to be over there where you could buy another one if you wanted, just to see if you have yeah, it. Yeah, I'll, I'll have another one. What if I slept? You can sleep. What if I slept? Because I did Flappy Bird, and yeah. there is no part of me that ever wants to do Flappy Bird again. So I'm just going to just gonna climb into bed. Moon Queen, what you up to? You want to talk? Will we finally get the one screen? No. We'll never see the circus screen. Let's see what love you've gathered today, Chu. You cleared the highest Genghis Khan level. Ah, the Robomayer's love. For your next love level, you'll need four more love. Love still dots this world. Please, seek out this gathered love. Collect a lot of it, please. Wink! Is there a map in your house? Uh, you there had might brought be. it up. Yeah. Um. Let me let me check. Is, is it on the desk or the barrel? It's this, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Look at the world map. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is where we are now. Tal's hideout, windmill hermitage, tropical fields, American house. This is also helpful now because we haven't looked at the map in a long time. Yeah. So now that people have seen a lot of the game, they'll be like, oh, now I can put together where this mm -hmm. is. Uh, Tamaya's launcher, that's the fireworks launcher. Uh, cave guy's cave. That's where you cave. buy Octolips. Yep. The haunted house. The mushroom forest. More mushroom forest. More mushroom forest. Adder's house. Valley of the wind. Twilight Canyon. Sunbeams road. Wildcat house. Shellwell Cove. Up here is Technopolis. Dr. Hager's Lab, Burn Hall, Bali Bali Island, The Castle, Granby's House, Castletown, Rainbow Rocks, and back here. So now the map is complete. Yeah, the map makes a lot more sense watching it now. All right, so uh, remind me where, that, where I'm going. You are going to um, Papa's. So warp to Tropical Fields. American house, that's where we're going. Yes. I want to go to the tropical fields. And then straight down. And, and then like left. Because mm -hmm. I gotta go through that cave. Uh huh. 
And you should get like another one or two octolips. Yeah, I'm gonna. That is a good plan. I thought that was the cave. Uh -oh. That's the cave. We found cave. Hey, man. I took a nap and I feel good as heck. I want to buy. Yeah, I have 4,500. Oh, yeah, you're good. I'm going to buy one of these. Buy a second. Yeah, I'm going to buy another one. And too. then you'll have three, and that should be enough for end of game. I want to buy. I'll buy it again. I'll buy it at a high price. All right, bye. He's very, um, wiggly. He is. <laughs> it ain't working! Why the heck can that little squirt make such a perfect firework when I can't? If this slump keeps up, I'm out of the fireworking business. Heck, fireworks to light the night sky? How can somebody make that? I quit. I quit! Pops, you're just gonna give up? Well, you really shot your mouth off to the boy just now. What? Are you making fun of me? Utako, I apologize. I don't know what came over me. I need to pull myself together, or even that little squirt will be laughing at me. Don't worry. No matter how bad things get, I'll stick with you. Now's no time for apologies. There's fireworks to make. That's what you do best. Even Toru here is cheering his pops on. Utako, Toru, I'm gonna do my best, darn it! Just you wait, Moon. These fireworks of mine are gonna blast right through outer space. Yeah, don't beat your wife. Um, <laughs> don't don't beat your wife. This is uh, this is a product of its time. Product of it, product of its time. All right, so we got the love. That was the second thing you needed to do over here. And is that just a random chance thing? It happens at some point after the last time you see him. Okay. All right. Uh... Hi. Hey, buddy. Thanks for your help the other day. You're the second coolest guy after Paragon. So hopefully the comic is done. Hopefully. <laughs> Back when beating your wife. No, it's not that beating your wife was okay, but was it used as a literary device more freely? Yes. Should it have been? No. Just to make sure that that's clear. He's in here still? Would be a I did it. Would be a I did it. Would be a I did it. Would be a It is finished. Now I sleep. <laughs> uh, I feel like that sometimes when I work on a lot of vlogs. It is finished. Uh, you shaman! Gru, writer, papas. Is it the hero? That's the hero. The hero defeating Paragon? Uh-huh. That's kind of weird... Keep going. Oh, and Paragon's fighting back. There's an angel? Okay. I mean, the hero does kill Paragon. Yeah. Sorry, that's just a little weird. Like, if, if, sorry, if, if my father drew a comic where someone, like, cut Kepler in half, I'd be like, Dad? What, what's, uh, is everything okay at home? <laughs> All right, um, sure. I think there's several people in Moon that need therapy. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're done in American House. Yeah. I'm assuming you just talk about... Hi! Fine? 
I'm worried about a lot of people here. All right. Where are we? Um... There's only two more love to get. One is the fishing tournament. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Oh. After we get all the love, how much more, like, game is there? It's just end game. Well, yes, but how much that end game is there? That is probably one episode. The whole, like, the end game is one yeah. episode on its own. Yeah. So we get all the love, and then there will be a final episode. Yes. Oh. Okay. Well, um... Well, here's the thing. Yeah. We're only 12 minutes into this. Okay. So. So. Do you, we, we could, I mean, we could finish Moon today. Yes, we can. So I guess we should just finish Moon today. Yes. If we finish Moon today, then I guess next week we'll do uh, something different. All right. Yeah, if fishing goes well. Yeah, I was trying to so, save fishing for last. So... In case you had to do more fishing, like, after. Yeah. Um, okay, so what we should do, mm -hmm. probably, is... My assumption is we should do everything that's not fishing. We did. Well, what love is left? So, for fishing, what you have to do is you have to go back to Wildcat House and eat a specific dish... That will help your fishing get better. And you do it on the same day as Solar Day? Yeah. Well, you need to do it, like, right away, and then warp home, warp to Tropical Fields, and then do the fishing tournament. But we haven't gotten Kenji's love yet, the chef at Wildcat House. Yeah. So, like, the thing we need to do is on Echo Day, go, t go talk to Kenji, wait until Solar Day, eat the dish, go warp, and okay, then okay, do the tournament. Okay, okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. It sounds like what we should do is... Do Kenji's thing on Solar Day and then go save. Is that correct? No, not on Solar Day because that's when the fishing turns. On Echo Day. On Echo Day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, on Echo, we should we should get Kenji's love. So then the only thing left uh -huh. is fishing. Yes. That's what we should do. Okay. Because then we can restart. We can reset the game if we need to. Right. Yes. yes. That's what we should do. Okay. So eat a octolips. Okay, so I'm gonna eat the octolips, and we are going to go to the Wildcat Cafe. Mm -hmm. But we have to be there on Echo Day. No. No. Because you need to, you have to talk to Kenji to get his love, but you also need to eat the dish from Wildcat House. I'm aware of that. What? When can I get Kenji's love? Any time. That's what but I needed need to, to know. Eat the dish. I don't have. Okay. Do not care about okay. the dish right now. I wasn't the dish. Sure. The dish is not important right now. The dish will be the last thing because the fishing is the last thing we're gonna do. Do I walk there? Yes. You cannot warp. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get Kenji's love. That's the second to last love in the game. Yes. And then we'll worry about everything else. Mm -hmm. Um. Because that's going to all be its own thing. <laughs> because what we're doing is we're trying to set it up where we can reset the game if something goes wrong during the fishing tournament. Mm -hmm. Because we don't want there to be anything else we have to redo. Yes. Which is why I want to get Kenji's love now. Okay. So we get Kenji's love, we save the game, and then we can set up the game however we want where we can reset if fishing doesn't go well. Yes. Otherwise, we have to wait an in-game week, which is insane. So that's the plan. So let's walk all the way over to the Wildcat Cafe, which is probably oh. not open at night, but who knows? Probably not. Well, you just have to talk to Kenji. Open 24-7. It's a Waffle House. This is a Waffle House. Welcome. I started working here again. It's a pleasure to meet you. So, will you be dining here today? No. No. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Why are you working here again? You got a hunger? Nope. What? Well, okay, come back again sometime. So it doesn't explain why. No. She give up. He might, but... Right. The hero has departed. Tranquility returns. I feel like thanking someone, so thank you. That's it. All right, so the next thing, the, so the final love in the game... Is fishing. Is fishing. Uh-huh. 
And we've tried the fishing tournament twice before. Mm-hmm. However, there is... Is it a rumor? Is it solid no, proof that this I think it's solid works? proof. That you can help your odds in the fishing tournament by eating the dish that Kenji makes. The right? The kitty kitty bugs dish. So what we're going to do mm-hmm. is we're going to go back. I can octolips again. You can octolips. We're going to save the game. Pink. And then we're going to position ourselves where we can reset the game in case the fishing tournament goes bad. That's the plan. And this is the last this is the last love in the game. We've mm-hmm. collected all the love. So that's exciting. Whew. It's been a whole thing. Let's see what love you've gathered today, Chu. Papa's finished his comic. Critics are calling Yusha Man a tour de force. Kenji's back in business. Utaka was supporting her husband all along. For your next level, you'll need one more love. Love still dots this world. Go get that last one, buddy. Good luck fishing. I love that it all comes down to fishing. Truly, we are here to fish to win. All right, so my question then is, what day do we need to sleep until? Oh, you're right there. Look, let's see. It's going to be Echo Day. Um, yeah. You need to eat the bug dish. Does someone in chat know exactly when you should eat the bug dish? Well, here's my question. Because, like, I thought... The fishing tournament's on Solar Day. Yes. So wouldn't I eat the bug dish on Solar Day? That's what I'm thinking, which is something I didn't try. I was eating it, um, like, Echo Day at night, it's, and then walking there. It seems to me like we should wake up early Solar Day, Uh huh. get to the cafe and eat the thing, and then go do the tournament. You can only do the tournament once anyway. During the day, yes. And the tournament goes on all day, right? Nerdy says, eat it on Solar Day, because you can go there, um, and then right when it switches to Solar Day, eat it. And then um, warp home and warp to tropical fields and then walk to the tournament, if that is enough time to get there. It seems to me that there's enough time to, like, wake up on Solar Day, go to the thing, use Octolips to warp home, and get to the the thing. I know, I know the, the suggestion is to stay overnight on Echo Day. I don't know that that's necessary? There is not... Are you sure? Because it's not you... time to wake up here, walk to the cafe, eat, and then go. You need to be there right to eat right at the beginning of Solar Day. But with an Octolips? Yes. I I feel like I feel like it would work. Let's see. It's currently Coins Day. The next day is Echo Day, so you could sleep again to move time to Echo Day. But I think like at when it gets to be nighttime Echo Day, you should be at the cafe. Because you have to walk to the cafe. You cannot warp to the cafe. All right. I I believe, based on, like, my perception of time in the game, that there's enough time... Just do it. ...to do Sleep. it. I really do believe that. Like, you might be getting to the... Um, so what you want to do is wake up here at the beginning of Solar Day. Is it Solar? Walk to is, the cafe. Yeah. No, you don't have enough time. Because you can test it right now. Because in a few seconds, it's going to be the beginning of Echo Day. Pretend it's Solar Day and try and do what you want to do. Why wouldn't I do it on the day I want to do it? Because you're going... (laughs) If it doesn't work, then you have to reset. And if not, you would just have to wait a few hours in game. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to test this. Okay. I'm going to test this. We're going to do a run-through. Oh, that's what I'm saying you should do. Okay, we're going to do a run-through. This will be fun. So, when it hits day... Mm-hmm. Do I only have one Octolips? Yes. Shoot. That's bad, because then I'm going to use it. You're going to have to reset if your fishing doesn't go well. Yeah. But this was my test run. But you can't fish until Solar Day. Yeah. Oh my god. But what I'm saying is, if I only have one Octolips, I will have to reset and then wait a day. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Do your test run. All right. I can reset after my test run. It's just I'll have to wait another day. How, how, wh- how, what does the progression of time do in this house? 
Because it doesn't take you to the beginning of a day. It takes you to what? I don't know. <laughs> All right. It is daytime. It's time to do my speed run. So let's, let's see pretend if this it's works. Solar yes, day. we're pretending it's solar day. I go right. Uh huh. I go down here, and like I could be wrong, but I think it's possible. We're gonna find out. So we go down here. We're gonna get to the cafe. All right. Okay, we're going. It is fun. The speed, I'm the speed sure running. Setting mood. up for the tournament already. Yeah, like but if, but, if it were solar day. Yeah, but my my question is, when does that end? It's probably at night. You have until day until the end of day to get there, right? So, like, why I don't does it actually know? So, why does it matter? I'm pretty sure that that's the thing. If you have until the end of day to get there, that should be plenty of time. So, you don't want me to actually get the thing right now, no. do you? Okay. I will not be dining here. I would walk around the counter. And you would eat. I would engage in a conversation. Does time pass when you eat? I don't know. That I don't know. Nerdy Revelry says the fisherman goes to bed really early. That's the only part of this I don't know. If time passes when you eat, that could change this. Can I eat now and test that? Yeah. Because you can just eat again, I think. Okay. So I've lost a little time having to do this twice, but... Let's find out if time passes. If time passes, then yes, that does change things. Let's find out. It's once per day, so he'll have to reset. But he's going to eat at the beginning of Solar Day. Lately, we offer a special wine service before meals. It's a mysterious wine. We'll let you hear the ingredients. What? Okay. I hope you enjoy your meal. I had a mysterious one. How old am I? So what will it be? Kitty kitty bug saute. Okay. What? Shoo, you must be brave to order that. Just a moment, please. Order up. Kiri kiri bug saute for one. Doki. That's how Kepler looks when he cooks. Here to go. So time isn't passing. Oh, All right, here you are. Eat it while it's hot. I use curry curry bugs in that saute. Eating it should raise one's fishing powers. So it just tells you that it does mm -hmm. that. Ah, this dish has become a favorite of the fishermen. Gamakatsu. That's who runs the tournament. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm done. So then... I would Octolips here. Mm -hmm. Which will take me home. And then you will warp to Tropical Fields. Standing to the left. I've never done that. Mm -hmm. I want to go to tropical fields. <laughs> and then which direction is uh, fish? Down east. Down east? And then right here. And then up. Down. Down? Mm -hmm. Sorry, you got to listen to Hager ask for money. Love to hear him ask for money. <laughs> rich heart, rich wallet, and rich your life. All right. East. Okay. So, 
as long as you're allowed to fish at noon on Solar Day, this would be fine. I shall be taught. I can't be taught. I can't be taught. I just said I can't be taught. Oh, you're going to lose your bait. Oh, well, stop. I don't think I used it. I still have a bunch. Okay. So it looks like it can be done. Yes. Chess says you're resetting anyways, right? You should reset, sleep until it's close for your timing, and then go do it. Okay. Because you can sleep yes. past time at your okay. house. God, this is a this is complicated, but also every part of Moon has been complicated. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so nothing is different. Okay. <sighs> Hopefully, this means that I can just easily win the fishing tournament. Yeah. That would be great. That would be ideal. That would be ideal. So the concern now is that there won't be enough time to fish. So what I think you should do is when it's getting to be like halfway through night yeah. on Echo Day, yeah. that you should use between night and solar day to walk to the cafe so you can eat first thing solar day morning instead okay. of starting at the beginning of solar day from here. So I'm going to pass time here. I don't actually know how much time passes. Well, you'll find out. It's coins day. You have all of Echo Day to figure that out. So it's currently almost 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Like, almost top of the clock. It's it's like, so it's, it's I think it's 12 hours. So if you sleep now, it'll get you... Right at the end of Echo Day. Yes. And that should be fine. Yes. And, and if it, it's not, you can reset and do this again. Well, if I, no, if it's, no, because it'll save. Oh, true. I'll have to wait an in-game week. You'll have to sleep an in-game week. Fun. All right. It's the end of Echo Day, and it's time to make this happen. Do, 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 do. This is the real thing, folks. We are going. We are we are heading to the cafe to eat the special... The special meal. To learn how to do good fish. We will enter the tournament, and with any luck, we will get the final love of Moon. And you were suggesting to eat it the very morning of Solar Day? Once it switches to Solar Day. Because there's Cause a there's concern not, there's about... There's not really any indication of like how that long it's it working, lasts. or yeah. how long it lasts, or yeah. any of that. All you that. have is uh, Kenji saying it'll increase your fishing. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that it it should it should happen on Solar Day. Mm -hmm. Cause like I tried this and ate it like Echo Day night, and I didn't get the tournament. I tried it like two or three times. Okay. So it is now Echo Day. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what we were hoping to achieve. This is Echo Day morning. We're gonna go in here. Tell her you want to eat, because it's uh, yep. Chris who tells you. Do you want to eat a food? I sure do. Yep. Here is the table. Give me the wine service. Good thing the shop was open. Lately we offered... Okay, the good thing the shop was open is like because we were yeah. here right at the beginning of the day, I think. Maybe they do close at some point. If they're closed, they're not closed for like... Long. Alright, so we're eating this. We're gonna get the Kiri Kiri bug service. God, I really hope fishing goes well. I mean, at this yeah. point, it is gonna be on me because it's gonna be skill. Like, if I screw up the fishing, then, well, like, it's not, too bad. It's not skill, it's also luck. I mean... There is some skill in, like, hitting the button. Yeah, that's yeah. skill. Because the time is passing. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you, you know... 
So it's possible for me to screw that up. If the game gives me anything other than fish, than five fish straight in a row, yeah, then it then the, it screws me. You mm -hmm. know, there's nothing I can do about that. But if you go really fast, you might be able to go for six fish. If you're good. If you're good. All right, we have the bug juice in our body. We are octolipsing. Back to the house. Warping to tropical fields. Yes. Okay. It's still like right at the beginning yeah. of the day. So things are going well. Tropical fields. Did you ever drink bug juice? In the little tiny... The little like barrel yeah. thing? No. Me neither. Um, there was someone I knew that did. But I never had it. It's this way? Yeah. Down. Yeah. If at any point I'm going the wrong way, just yeah. let me know. But I I I think I got it. Alright, still beginning of the day. This is this is looking good for time. Oh yeah, See, we haven't even he, set it up. Yeah. Oh I'm 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 at the exact right time. This is perfect. Um now we just have to really hope the tournament goes okay. Uh, uh. Okay, the timing is fine. Time for my fishing contest. You want to enter? Yes. Good. You want me to teach you how to fish? No. No. Great. Here we go. No whammies. It's a fish! One. One. Keep going. It's a Two. fish! Two. Three. Three. Took a while for that yeah, with a bite. Yeah, that was a big fish. Four. All right, here we go. This is it. Gotta get five fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. It was one more second. Like one more. Cool. Cool. Uh, Dan, I vote that we keep all this in this episode because it sounds like the the next episode will just be the last one. Yeah. So I'll just have him edit us to like trying the next tournament, getting the fifth fish or something if we can do it. Yeah, the dish seems to work. We didn't get yeah. any trash, mm -hmm. which was the big problem doing it before. Yeah. It kind of looks to me like the dish is necessary. Like, if you were to do it without the dish, mm -hmm. God, that seems hard. Okay. Well, the good news is we are right where we need to be for resetting. This all works. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, getting lucky with the type of fish would help a lot. Um, the other part that is still seemingly random is how long it takes a fish to bite. Yes. And that sucks. That really sucks, because if it takes a while, then you're just kind of screwed. 
Time to do it all over again. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, Nerd Nerdy Revelry says, I read a guide where they said they got it without the dish, but it took them like 30 tries. Yikes. I mean, if you don't know about the dish, you would just assume yeah. that the game is cruel. And in fairness, the game, the game is, is cruel. cruel. Game is, uh... Got some some old school game design elements. Like some people say that modern games are are easier than older games, and like that can be true to an extent. Yeah, there are some skill changes, but also there's just a lot of stuff in modern game design where people, you know, designers are like, wait, no one wants to just waste time. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants to feel like they had to do something a hundred times. Okay. Meow. Meow. Yeah, quality of life did become a concept, thankfully. Video games are better than they used to be. Will you be dining? I will. Do you see the cat picture on the wall? Yeah. Thank you for wine. I am a young boy. Someone in chat had pointed out that the wine is what tells you the caviar is the tadpole for the haunted house ghost. The what? You know the haunted house ghost? Yeah. Wanted caviar and we gave him a tadpole? Yeah. That's the wine is how we figure that out, that the tadpole works for that. In case we hadn't done it already? If we didn't know how to do it, that's the tell in the game. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, eat your bugs. Like, Moon is definitely a game that if you were to play it without a guide, mm -hmm. it it's it would take you a long time. Mm -hmm. Like a very, very long time. And even then, you might not be able to figure some things out. But some people want to experience the game like that, and that's completely fair. Yeah. Um, I was actually reading a few forum posts of people that got this game when it came out, localized in... 2020 and we're talking about like playing through it and trying not to use a guide and how it was just like wandering around and showing everyone every business card and like if you want to experience the game that way that's fine mm -hmm. but like that's that's a very different experience and like one that would not work well for like a let's play yeah you know if we want to show off the game we really need someone like mal to guide me through it because otherwise, the Let's Play would be like 150 parts long. Uh, let's eat Octolips. Those people are called sadists. Or masochists. Yeah, it's, you know... I, I, I'm not gonna, you know... Uh, I'm not going to, like, tell someone that that's an incorrect way to play the game. Mm -hmm. Um... Because there's people that still want to experience games like that today. Um, and there's something to be said about, like... Discovering all Discovering that, that right? There, there's, just, there's a fun sense of discovery. But for me, I'm like, I want to experience, like, the quirky weirdness of this game, but not spend 100 hours. You don't want to get frustrated by it. Yeah. Yeah. Summer Noir says, I will personally write you a guide to play Grim Fandango. You don't need a guide to play Grim Fandango, Dango, do you? Like, it's mostly straightforward. That is a game that's been on my, like, to play list for a long time. Um, and I really like the style of humor. So that's a game that I might play at some point. But I'm pretty sure that that's not anywhere near as obtuse as uh, Moon. Oh, man. Do not teach me how to fish. You got it this time. I'm, I hope. Depends a little bit on the game. You kidding me? Oh my god. 
Are you kidding me? Moon? Moon? We're not off to a great start. Nope, it's a boot. <laughs> it's a boot, we're done. Y'all in for the long haul? <laughs> Moon shows violence. Yeah. Yeah, Renee, grab snacks. I'm kind of, yeah, we might, it might be snack time. I might need a, some chips or something. <sighs> yeah, Julie White, we're finishing this game today. Bet. Like, the next episode is the final episode yes. and is sh shorter than the normal episode. Yeah. About the same. It takes a long time to get to the moon. Okay. <laughs> moon saw you do Flappy Bird quickly and was like, oh, you thought. Can I give uh, you this? Yeah. Hand him over. Will you go eat your bur bugs? This will be a fun episode for Dan to edit. Well, fun in the sense that, like, it's complicated and... and, and oh, where am I going? Oh, God. Um, but, like, he'll get to include, like, me casting and it taking a long time and then catching the shoe and being like, never mind, and resetting. And I think that will be kind of a fun... Do you want a snack? Episode. I would, actually, yes. What do you want? Uh... You could bring that up. Okay. I would do that. I bought us a little, um, a little, a little treat. And, uh, I would, I, we can have a, we can have a little treat. Yeah, we, we definitely want to include the, like, the first attempt needs to be there in its entirety, and then the second attempt should be there too, right? Because it needs to show the casting... And then getting it, the casting taking forever and me going, ah, and then getting the shoe. And then it'll just be constantly cutting to those attempts. My stomach is okay now. So y'all decide whether um, that medicine is expired or not. Don't know what to tell you. Will you be dining here today? I will. Like, is it expired? Yes. That is objectively true. That cannot be argued. But did the medicine work? Maybe. Because, like, it's not, it's not a general rule that, like, expired medicines don't work, right? It depends a lot on a lot of factors. Some medicines uh, might have longer... Uh, uh, what do they call it? when a thing lasts longer. What's the word I'm looking for? Half-life? Just a moment, please. <laughs> Duration. Oh, God. Yeah, not as, not as potent. Like, I'm sure, I, I feel pretty certain that there's probably a medicine that once it expires, you, you may not should take it. But Pepto Bismol, I'm like, mm, it's fine. <laughs> Shelf life. Half life is something different in medicine. Oh, well, I'm All right. I really thought that this dish would like. This make you win. I really thought it would prevent all trash yeah. the fact it doesn't is actually insane because what that means is that this could take any amount of time mm -hmm. if it gives us trash at all at any time we have to reset here take this like there might be enough time to catch a six thing if the bobbing is quick yes. but if the bobbing's not quick what are you gonna do I do want a piece of this. We got a little thing of salmon sashimi.
That's very good. We got the store that has, like, sashimi. Perfect. Send a message to the fish. <laughs> Listen, fish. This will happen to you. All right. I have one more, and then I'll attempt fish again. I don't want to stick them in my mouth for that long. Well, give me a second and I'll be done. Okay. <sighs> this is gonna be the time. This is gonna be the time I can feel it in my heart. I have. I feel like I have the fishing down pretty well. Mm -hmm. So I don't think at this point it's really a skill issue. It's really gonna be some RNG stuff. After this fishing attempt, I will earn more sashimi. Yeah, you can finish it. Did you eat? Yeah. Okay. It just seems... You weren't, you weren't here. Yeah. That's why it feels weird. I ate. Like Goku, please send me all of your energy, like a spirit bomb. I am in. I do not need to know how to fish. Was it fourth try on Flappy Bird? I think it was three today. Okay. Here we go. One fish. Keep going, keep going. That was a blue fish. Two fish. We, that was a fast one, and we love a it's fast. A it's a boot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna see if I can get six in. I probably can't. Oh come on! Let's see if there's time for one. Another boot. Jesus. Here, I'll go eat for you. You go. You eat that fish. Uh... Wow. You ate the special fish meal. Here's two boots. Go to hell. All right. Well. Well. <laughs> Oops, all boots. A tiny Eddie presents. <laughs> Luna, Luna says, why would they design it like this? Because it was 1997. I believe you, Laura. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I thought Flappy Bird was gonna be the harder one. Nope. 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 Oh shoot! I hit start, not continue. Reset the game. We're off to a great start. Are you sure that you can handle having the controller? I'm now about to erase my save file. It's 
totally fine. Totally fine. This is very good. Good little snack. Someday my fish will come. I used to bowl for that instead of like an actual soy sauce dish because, um. That was very good. Very, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. I do love. I do love sashimi. Um. Hey. Hey, what? No, hold on. Can I do this myself? I'm a pretty. I'm a big boy. We had 46 months from Josh R2D2. Thank you. I was like, can I do that myself? I can. I'm envisioning getting um, Dan's hour sheet for Moon, and it's like pretty normal, and then it gets to the second to last episode, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> and he's like, yep. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> This will be a very expensive episode to produce. Will you be dining here today? I will. It's a mysterious wine. It actually makes you worse at fishing. <laughs> You're too drunk to fish. Really wish there were save states. <laughs> rewind. Yeah, the rewind. Like, I'm, I'm definitely to the point now after the third attempt where I'm like, wish there was a save state. Because this takes like five human minutes every time. It's fine. The only buttons I have are, are make, make the game blurry. <laughs> Hey, thanks everyone for uh, sticking with us <laughs> as we work to finish uh, obscure late 90s Japanese RPGs. Okay. <laughs> this is fantastic. I'm having the best time. I'm glad. I'm glad. Hello again, young man. You want me to eat you up again? I sure do. Where do you want to go? I want to go to tropical fields. Mushroom forest. Yeah, I don't... So the, here's the thing. Because so little was known about this game, I don't know if we are doing something wrong or that this is actually part of it. Like, yeah, it might help you, but... It doesn't make it perfect. It doesn't prevent trash, right? I have no idea. No, I don't think enough is known about this game no. to find that information out. So yeah, it's possible that, like, oh well, we should have, we should be there at night and have it at night and then do it. But like, we, it's also random. We have no idea. <laughs> Tweeted Onion Games right now. Hey, um, is Kimura there? We have a question. Let's do it. 
Tom says, the guide I followed said the food helps but isn't a guarantee. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Yeah. Is, is I think that it probably does increase your chances. But also, um, it's the late 90s and they hate us, so... That was Teach to Fish. Oh, God. Well, it doesn't pass time. It's fine. <laughs> Good to know. Yank that rod. Get it? Got it. Here we go. Attempt number four. Come on, quick, quick. Quick, quick. That was a fast one. Can. Boot. Sorry, we're just gonna we're gonna play through this to see how much trash there is. The first time we had four fish in a row. Yes. Five fish in a row. Wasn't the fifth one a fish too? We, we just don't know. You oh, we didn't get quite it get it. Out. You didn't land it. I was close. And there's this bull crap where it just like I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Ooh. Like this, this alone is insane. The timer is ticking and we can't have a fish. <laughs> this is game design, TM. Yeah, and that one was hard to get in because that yeah. was a big one. That was our first fish. This is only our fourth cast, and we've done well on pulling the stuff in. There wasn't even enough time to pull in five fish on this one. That's insane. All right. I'm just thinking back to last week. Yeah, when the power went out. When the power went out, and I was like, I'm going to have to spend all this time doing Flappy Bird. Nope. Nope. Corn says, I would just recast the line after six seconds. I don't... That makes me nervous. That makes That idea makes me nervous. Like, yeah, it could go quickly the next time, but also it does... It, it takes time to pull in the rod and then cast it again. So, like... <sighs> Emberlar says, recast doesn't waste bait, so it wouldn't use bait. Tom says, some form post I'm reading claim the food increases the fish bite speed. It takes so long. Although, it is true. When we had tried this before without even doing the food, mm -hmm. it can take forever for a fish to bite. Which means possibly that the, the food doesn't take away the possibility of getting trash. Big if true. And also bad if true. I might see what I can find, but big, I have looked before. Big If True, Bad If True is actually the name of a vlog that's coming out at some point. I made a vlog and that's the title. Big If True, Bad If True. I mean, maybe we won't. Maybe we won't finish. Someone more. wrote, um, "It's either a placebo or it works, and you need to do it without sleeping in between eating it in the contest." Yeah. And if it does make the fish bite faster, it that might be what it does. Yeah, like as opposed to Earthbound, which has been pulled apart a million times, and we know its inner workings pretty well. 
Moon is just like, I don't know. This is what someone wrote six months ago. It's not known if it's flavor text or real, and there's no confirmation of anyone looking at code, finding variables within cheat engines, etc. So, so no one knows. I'm currently here before the beginning of Solar Day. Mm-hmm. So if I want, I can technically get this food in me before Solar Day happens. Yeah. So I'm going to try that this time. This person said, nobody talks about this possibility, that it's actually permanent. So I wonder if someone bothers to do it a dozen times, does it get easier? It's hard to say because if some invisible stats go up, you're still going against biting RNG and then RNG of what's biting. Nerdy Revelry says, try eating it twice. Well, you have to wait for two days. Oh yeah, because once the day switches, you should be able to eat it again. Because you get one dish a day and it's currently Echo Day. Oh shoot. This is big brain. Who knows if this works, man? I, but we're, we're going for it. We're going for it. Will you be dining here today? I will. Today on Echo Day. Let me show you to a table. The question is, when does the power reset? Is it at the beginning of days? Is it 24 hours? No is it when knows. you sleep? Nobody knows. And the game sure as hell isn't going to tell you. All right. Here at the last minute of Echo Day, give me the food. What will it be? I will have the bugs. You must be brave. Have, hold on. What's the hard cap for the stream? <laughs> I mean, there is there is some cap. I don't know what it is in my mind. 4.30? If we haven't done it in the next hour, then like we'll try again next week, I guess. Because I do have other things to do before Disco and Lee. Yeah. So, like... But I also really... Really need to finish this game next week. Okay. Alright, here we go. So, we are going to eat... This. We can only eat one thing a day, because they only serve one customer. But it's currently Echo Day. So we will eat this. Walk outside, walk back inside. Do we even have to walk outside? I don't know. It's now just another day. They might serve me again. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's been like six seconds. Can I get more of that food? We really did get here like at the buzzer. Yeah. So I, I ran that well. Who knows if this will work? But this, if there's anything to this, we're going to hope. I want bug. Double power. We game test. And, and here's the thing. We could do it. And that may not have been a thing. Yeah. But if we do it, then you we'll all be... You'd have to test it multiple you'd times. You'd have to test it multiple yeah. times. So if it works this time, we'll all be like, yeah, this worked. But we don't know yeah. that. There's no... <laughs> it doesn't prove anything. Like, it would be like... You'd have to have multiple it would be retests of this. A data point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. All right. We have so much fish power. But, like, am I going to believe in this? Yeah, I'm going to believe in it because I don't have anything else to believe in. <sighs> Alright, we have consumed double bug power. It is time to Octolips. Alright. Okay. Here we go. You want to be eaten. Never not eat. Yep. Tropical fields. <sighs> Same. Yeah. The sashimi was good. I'm glad you liked it. You said that like you prepared the fish. I did. <laughs> Thank you. 
I took care of that fish myself. All right. Corn says, I'm of the opinion it's all placebo. Well, like, I, it probably does something, because the game in the dialogue says this is supposed to help with fishing powers. So it probably does do something. But what it does, we all know. Can it be doubled? We all know. When does it reset? We all know. But I, I, I suspect it probably does something. When does, does the game something. decide you have a fish and what type of fish? Here we go! What is this, round five? Round six? Five. Five. Six. Nothing matters anymore. That was fast. It's a fish. That one was also fast. Fast. Double power might be real. Let's see how fast this one is. It's a fish. Three. It's a can, but we've been going pretty quick. We might be able to get a sixth one in. This is easy to pull in. It might be a can. It's a nope. shoe. That's it. Fish. That was four fish. Well, the run is dead. <laughs> <sighs> but it did feel at the beginning like it was helpful. The f well, the first the first cast was almost instant. Yes, and then the next one was. And a the fish. next one was yeah. pretty fast. Yeah. So like, d yeah, double power works. I think the thing that I'm gonna take away from this is that. Yes, the eating the food may help the fish bite faster. I do not believe it has any effect on whether or not you get fish or trash. And that sucks. Because that's the more important part. Yes. Because I can catch every fish on first try, but I need five fish. Mm -hmm. If the game is like, you have time to catch five fish... And it's a dice roll five times in a row to see if you even get the fish. That's kind of a problem. That's a bit of a, of uh -huh. a problem. I don't know, man. I'm starting to get factory vibes. I'm getting tulip factory vibes. Oh, it didn't work. Time to do it all over again. Oh, shoot. Hopefully I can still Ouch. get there in time to double. If Ouch. I get there to double, I'll do double. If I can't, I won't. Ouch. Oh my god, Mal, are you okay? I'm trying. Ow. The diagonal walk is my strategy. Because the diagonal walk causes the map to move sideways at a faster pace. So that's my strategy for getting there faster. <sighs> okay. I don't think it works on this map. This map moves at the same pace that I can tell. Uh, maybe I maybe I do move faster. I don't know. You oh, it's already it. day, so I could. Man, I must have really booked it to get here. How did I do that? <laughs> I think it's be I think it's all because I got caught on that sign. Yeah. I got caught on the sign, and that was it. 
All right, well, I'm still gonna do it while I'm here. Yeah, might as well. Will you be dining here? I will. Let me show you to a table. But knowing that there might be a reality in which double power is real, like, I will be trying to do that. So I need to remember to go around the sign. I hope you enjoy your meal. I will be dining here until the end of time. God, this is just Groundhog Day. That is one of my favorite movies. Well, we get to live it. Love mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I, I, this is definitely, this is like, you could argue that the other parts of Moon, like obtuse, the obtuse nature of Moon, can be fun and enjoyable for a certain audience, and I think that's fair. The idea of, like, you got all these business cards and you gotta, like, hand them out to everybody to try and piece together what to, to do. That's yeah. all fair. This is bad. <laughs> like, this this is bad, because if you are completely reliant on a dice roll and there's no skill involved, that's, that's not very fun. But, you know, for the sake of completion for the for the sake of completion it is the last thing we we hundred percented tulip i think we we still have one of the more complete runs of tulip on the internet mm -hmm. we're gonna have one of the more complete runs of moon and uh you know that means winning like look at this that means this is my checklist that means we have to win at fishing and for, that's for the sake of human happiness and then this is the Moon Dweller checklist. There are two checklists. It means that there's and there's be one a left. Pain. I'm not crazy, right? What? I'm, that that I've thought that the entire game. I just want to make sure I'm not crazy. Moving into diagonals is causing the map to scroll faster. I think it is. Which is a, which is a thing in old games, right? It's yeah. uh, there's a, even a name for it, but I don't remember what it's called. Scooby. Uh, I love that musical, also. Andy Carl was amazing in it. Because, like, the idea of, in a, in a 2D game when you're moving, is like, yeah, up moves one, and right moves one, but when you move up and right, it moves you up and right, which, en which ends up moving you, like, twice as fast. Uh, yeah, I went in. Here are the rules. You know the rules. Did I ask for him to explain the thing? You did. I'm not even paying attention. I'm just like... Uh. Okay. Let's hope for no trash. Start. No trash, no trash, no trash. Fish! One fish. Have we seen that fish? Nope. This feels like can. Feels like fish. Oh, it's can. That took a while to get canned, which yeah. is bad. That one was fast. Two fish. We could try the strategy of recasting. Oh. That's three fish. Mm hmm. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe. If this happens quick. That's a harder fish. It's going to yeah. be a big one. Uh, 
There's no way, but... There's no way. There's no way. If I wouldn't have had a hard fish, yeah, that might have that been might possible. Have been it. I, 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 I believe that you might be able to get away with getting one piece of trash if you get easy fish. If yes. you get if you get the big fish, mm -hmm. that takes too long to reel in. Uh, okay, but on this on this run, I am gonna go around the sign and see if I can get double power again. I'm really hoping that that does something, because if it doesn't, I am just spending extra time in the cafe, but, you know, we don't know anything, so we might as well do mm -hmm. it. We might as well do it. We currently don't have any alerts, so I'm not going to take a break. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just in it. And it takes so long to go get the, the to the cafe, if anyone needs to take a bathroom break, you might as well just do it now. <laughs> All right, as soon as this loads in, I gotta go. Here we go, because I know I can do this. I'm out the door. I gotta go around the sign. Okay, didn't struggle there. It's time for some diagonal walking. <laughs> that sign has a name. It does. I forgot the name. Um. Let's see. I think I'm gonna make Polka. it. Polka. Polka. What was the name of the guy in? Um. Well, no, there were several. There's several in Chulip that are signs with heads and names and stuff. All right, I made it. Double power today. As long as I get around the sign, yeah, and I walk sideways through the desert, I can I can double food. I'm dining. The teachers, yeah, all the teachers. It's been a while since I tuliped. We might be going on ten years since tulip. I don't remember exactly what year that was. If anyone, if anyone is here and hasn't seen Chulip, do watch Chulip. If you've been watching Moon, you you do need to watch Chulip, because mm -hmm. like, <laughs> it's this, it's this, but on PS2. All right, meal number one. September twenty fifteen. Okay, yeah, nine years. Just about nine years. Uh. <laughs> I just finished watching Chula for the first time a few months ago. It is very this. It's yes, it is. It is. It is wild how similar the games are. Like real similar. <laughs> I really want to play UFO and LOL. Me too. All right, and now it is day. I really did save like at just the right time to get to. I could not have planned that any better. Your voice acting in Tulip was more unhinged. I think Tulip startled me in how unhinged it was. Yeah. But now that I've played Tulip, Moon seems normal because I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, more bugs. Yeah. The fishing part is is exactly like the factory. The factory part in Tulip. See, I felt like Technopolis was like that because you have to go to all the different floors and see things for different times. 
Yeah, but the mm -hmm. factory was complete RNG, and it took 15 minutes yeah. to, like, get in and do it. It was a nightmare. I mean, it was, like, pulling out your hair. Because it was RNG to find out Remind if you'd even be able to, to do it. I Tulip soundtrack on my phone. I'm just to Tulip soundtrack. It put Tulip, but okay, that's I'll know what that is. Well, it doesn't know what Tulip no. is. It's just good walking around music. It is. Boop. 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 Kazoo in the temple. It, the, the entire soundtrack is so good. It is a very, very good soundtrack. Might be one of my favorite game soundtracks, honestly, because it's so unique. It gives very big, like, Katamari vibes in how unique it is and how good it is. Because Katamari is that same thing where, like, all of the music is so good and it's there's nothing else quite like it. Loco Roco is similar. I love soundtracks like that. I mean, that's why I liked that Kira Mago song in here. Because it's so different. Yeah. Alright, we've got double bug juice. It's time for my fishing contest. Let's enter. Yes. Do you, you want an explanation? No. All right, here we go. Double power, baby. You have to believe. Fish for sure. The big one. I really don't want to get the big one, but okay. We started with the big one. Please don't be a can. It's a fish! The first fish took so long. It did. They're going to have to be fast. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to be really fast. It's possible. We got to go. We got to go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's... Mm, there's not enough time. Big fish screwed us. Yeah. So, like, it's not just the cans, and it's no. not just the boots. You also really can't get big fish. No. Big I think fish... You should, you should try it without eating. What? I think you should just go try it. What? Why? Because. Because why? Because. Why? Maybe what? it's all placebo. No. Maybe it's just flavor text. I don't uh, think... I don't, I don't think it's flavor text. You're gonna it's reset going against anyway. everything we know. All right, fine. All right, fine. I'll, yeah, what can I lose? At least I'll save five minutes from going to do that whole nonsense. Sure. God, Tom's point is sad. It might be a net gain to get more tries in. Mm -hmm. I hate that that yeah. could be true. Because uh -huh. here's the thing. I'm seeing more and more that the food has no effect on what you catch. And that's the more important thing. That's more important. 
There is a part of me that does wonder about one thing, though. Mm. If the food stacks until you sleep, that does mean that there's one other thing we haven't tried and I do not want to try and am not willing to try. But could it be possible to, like... Start Echo Day more. Oh, wait, you have to do you, one. You, yeah, you would. However um, many days we can after stay you awake. land here, pull up your stats. Like, we can stay awake for like a week. You could theoretically eat food. Yeah. And then wait for a day. You can't go to sleep because that might reset it. So you'd have to eat, sit there and wait for a day, eat, and then do that for seven days. And the reason I won't try that is because it will take forever. There's no guarantee it'll work. And if it fails, you'd have to do that whole thing over. Mm -hmm. um, but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't you, aren't you just like a little curious? I'm not curious enough to test it because that would take... Just sitting there to wait for that entire yeah. time would take like 30 minutes. So I'm not going to do that, but it does make you wonder. I mean, we certainly get here sooner. Renee says, I don't have that kind of time, Stephen. Same, Renee. Yeah, I'm, I'll go somewhere. Same. Same. This is, uh... I do kind of know how, like, sp speed runners feel. Chaz says, I feel like every very fast catch after eating was fish. Maybe aggressively recast so you only get fish. Okay. So, like, you don't catch a can because it's not immediate? And that was another theory that was that mm -hmm. was stated in chat, too. How how quickly was I getting them? Like, three seconds? So, what if I tried... I count, I count to, like, three? Like, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Oh, Chess says, not this time. Because you don't have the food. Okay. I'll do a normal one, and then on the next one, we'll count out Mississippi. Once we get to three Mississippi, I pull it back in, and we recast. And who knows if that's better, but it might be worth it. This is just a normal try. We don't have any bugs in our body. Watch us win. Like, that was immediate. We didn't yes. eat any food. And it's a fish. I'm going to be honest, I'll be kind of pissed if we win this one. I'll take the victory, but I'll be mad. It's taking too long. Like, I could have caught a fish by now. Yeah. I don't think there's any correlation to this and what you catch. I think those are two random events. This is insane. I could have caught two fish. So see how long this takes? This tells me that the food works. That's my take on this. This tells me that the food works because we didn't have anyone that took this long Without with the food. food. I think that is kind of some evidence that the food is doing something because that was immensely long. Three fish. So, yes, they can happen quickly. They can happen quickly, but... What if you don't eat fish and aggressively recast like Chaz said? Because you mean don't don't eat bugs. The first, yeah, the first two you just had were immediate, and they were both fish. Chaz votes eat and recast. Okay. We'll try eat and recast. Who knows if double eat does anything? 
Slick Duke says, do you have enough bait to recast? Uh, someone else, I think Emmer Lara said that it doesn't cost bait to recast. And if that's true, then we should be good. <laughs> Hi, I'm eating recast. All right, so this run, <laughs> we live in hell. This run, uh, I'm going to go eat. I guess I can double eat. Who knows mm -hmm. if that does anything. I'm gonna go double eat. And then um, I will- Big kitty stretch. I'm gonna double eat, and then I'm gonna recast after three Mississippi. That's my, that's my, that's my new super secret ultra plan to winning fish. You want to win the fish? This is how you win the fish. That and um, prayer. Oh, we didn't pray like X many times. Yeah, I think we probably needed to pray. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Alright. I zigzagged. I'm going to keep zigzagging. I think my character also moves a little faster. I don't know. I, I haven't, like, done a recording and then looked at it frame by frame. But that's my, my gut instinct, is that I'm moving more quickly when I do that. And it's zigzag any direction, too. <laughs> Dear Lord, please grant me five fishies. But true, though. All right, I got the double food. I'm going to go to the bathroom quick. It'll be fast. Will you initiate all of the, yes. the necessary foods? Yes. Be sure not to accidentally chew something other than bug. Kepler got up, stretched, and flipped over on his helper chair. Her okay sounds like Ness to me. Kiki, he coming back. You can lay down. Oh, well, I'm gonna go. Oh, I can get. And if I can like this is up to button, and look up, I'll be stopped to button, and look up, I'll be stopped. Perhaps the same voice actor? No. Uh, Chris is voiced by a girl that someone from Love to Lick met on a beach in Japan, and she was from America. What is that noise while you're eating? I think it's the bugs. Second. Second. Oh, it's day, so of course you're on second. Yeah. Meal. Oh, well, I'm while it's hot. <laughs> Why does it feel like you've been you. here before? I really hope someday this game gets torn apart, and then I get to learn what the what it does. And I'd like to read all of the script. 
Mmm, to see the dialogue mm -hmm. you didn't get a chance to see. Yeah. Eat. Okay. I'm getting intimately familiar with Moon. <laughs> Slick Duke says, "Would you be disappointed if it did nothing?" I would kind, I would, I would find it kind of funny. <laughs> the game is just gaslighting you, but it could also be an accident too. Like there's, there's parts of Earthbound where the game explains a concept and like it was programmed wrong, yeah. so it's not actually like that. Tropical fields, yes. Tropical fields. Like what is it in Earthbound? It's like your your guts don't affect whether you survive. Like the, it's in the game, it's like your guts will help you have like one HP left, but it's not your guts. It's the enemy's guts, which is why there's some enemies where like you survive hits more often, and it's because it has nothing to do with your guts. It has to do with the enemy's guts. Like, they intended to, to do it right, but they did it wrong. Oops. Anyway. Do you want another outfit? Nope. All right. <sighs> All right, we've double mealed three Mississippi, and then it comes back in. How do I pull it back in? I don't know. B A. I just I guess I just press A. Aggressively recast. Aggressively recast. <laughs> The strategy is not working. <laughs> oh no. We got can. <sighs> yeah, Chaz says we were definitely getting 50% of catches faster than this. I have a I have a curiosity and that is yeah, okay. I was like, does the timer actually do this, or is it just an animation? But I did see the fur the top go down. All right, this time I'm not gonna eat. Okay. I'm not gonna eat. I'm just gonna go do thing. I'm I'm having doubts about the food. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like we went from the food is the trick to wait a minute, big brain, double food to I don't know that the food does anything. <laughs> Like, we're slowly becoming moon conspiracy theorists. <laughs> we're gonna have our board with the red string. We're like, the, the food doesn't do anything. Do we need the two food? No, we have to wait one week and eat every single day for a week. That's the only way. It's fine. It's totally fine. Chaz says, I mean, we never got a super long cast with food like we did the one time without, right? I mean, we did go down there with no food and get like two in a row that, that were, were quick. really quick and were fish. And that hurts me. <laughs> Kubrick faked the moon landing. You want me to jump again? Yeah. Where you wanna go? Chapel food? I wanna oh. go to the moon. <laughs> I wanna go to the place where I have five fish. Jess says, but then the third took longer than any one in five food attempts. If only we knew how the video game worked. If only there was... Safe states. A rewind. I mean, this is definitely a, where I would, like, abuse that. I'd be like, yep, time to abuse it. Sorry. 
we're gonna we're gonna catch a fish and save state. Get a quick fish, save state, and then keep going until we get quick fish. But we can't do that. Hi. <laughs> can we just upload this whole VOD alongside the LP so everyone can see the extent of this torture? I mean, this will go up whether people know about it or not. When this episode comes out on Steven Plays, some of you need to go into the comments and be like, listen, this was hard. <laughs> yeah. This was really hard. Like, I'm, sh I'm sure Dan will include a lot of, like, the... Just e even just like us losing, like oh it's a can cut, oh it's a can cut, like that insinuates a lot of time has passed. A counter, or a counter, yeah. Do not teach me to fish. Fish number one. Why eat food ever? Maybe I should have recast. Sunk cost fallacy. I'm recasting. <laughs> Sunk cost. Two. I, I, I'm... I think there's something to Chaz's idea. If you don't get hard fish. This is hard fish. I know. Hard fish screws this up. more minutes and then we're cutting the stream. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, anyone Remember who... Remember when you were like, Mal, we're gonna 100% moon, and I was like, mmm, put the fishing. Well, you know, you were also concerned about Flappy Bird, and we did that. Uh -huh. We got it done. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. I want some chips. I don't think we have any chips besides tortilla chips. Uh, how wrong you are. We have multiple chips. What do we have we, for dinner? We have Grandma Utz's that are unopened. Oh, wait, I have dinner We plans. have ranch chips that are unopened. Mm -hmm. There may be more. It's true. Flappy Bird was a skill-based game, and this is not... This is designed to um, cause pain and sadness. I'm still not sold on food. It's a lot of extra time. We're getting like two fish right out of the, the gate. I'm rethinking the recast thing. Because it it's a good idea, true, if like we immediately get a new thing that's quick. Yeah. But if it takes three times, then it's like, oh crap, we should have just held on. But like, how does it... Which one's better? I don't know. But I do know there is enough time to cast five or six times, and as long as we don't get a big fish and maybe limit it to, like, one piece of trash... Tess says the long ones seem to more frequently be trash than fish. Like, soon we're going to have a chart. Like, someone will be making a spreadsheet and be like, alright, so here's the deal. If it's this long. I don't know that those are connected, though. Because that seems like such a weird thing. It seems like it would be a random dice roll for how long it takes, and then a random dice roll for what you have. 
those being connected is just like a strange choice? I mean, I don't know. Uh, that is a huge presumption and probably wrong. Uh, Uncle Ben says, I just got here. What's the goal to get the prize in the fishing game? You have to catch five fish in a very limited amount of time. And it's complete RNG whether you even get fish. And so far, we have not been gifted enough to get five fish. And this is our 12th try? 11th try. Here we go. Try 11. This is big fish, isn't it? Yeah. Me and my homies hate big fish. That's a different big fish. Yeah, there's the monkfish, and then there's so the, there's uh, two big there's fish. Two big fish. I mean, this is definitely a part where I feel like... Jazz the, is right. Well, the food helps. I yeah. feel like we never had things this long with food. I mean, that's a fish. What is that, three fish? If I had two super quick fish, I could do it. I thought that was only two. No, it's three. That was two. It was two? Uh-huh. Oh, God. Well, no, I'm screwed. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Amazing. We didn't even get a third... Bite? Bite. Yeah. All right. I have new found faith in the food. I think... I think the food is necessary. I don't know that two food is necessary, but I can do two food. But, like, food, yes. It is definitely cutting the time. I don't believe in the recast. Yeah. I don't believe in the recast. It does mean that we just have to get straight up lucky to not get the big fish or trash. And does that suck? Yes. <laughs> Chess says, food always made sense. You just wanted to hope to make it faster. It's true. Yeah. But like some of the, some of the length that it'll go before you get a bite is like, it's too long. It's too long. We might have time for two tries. It doesn't take 10 full minutes to do no. a try. So I'll probably, there'll probably be two tries. This try and then one more. Oh, I, w I don't know that I was zigzagging well enough. <laughs> you have to kind of get some perfect movements. So I don't know if I nailed it already. I mean, I'm gonna try. So we might only get one food, but one food's better than no food. I kind of turned backwards there for a minute. I'm doing this with the D-pad. It might, it might be easier with the um, stick. Can we snuggle? <sighs> oh, we don't want to be up here. Okay. Maybe Cappy will give you good luck. Yeah, maybe. I can't really zigzag through that tiny section. It's not helping me. Hi, <laughs> Big cat yawn. I think I am going to get two food. Nope. Nope. Oof. Split second there. All right, single food. Oh, 
The thing is, I am at the perfect save point. Like, if I'm going to do fish, mm -hmm. we really... We really can't, like, progress the game at all. We really need oh, to do the fish. This is it. I know. I'm just saying, yeah. like... That's why I was really like, this would be really good to get this done. Yeah. Enjoy your meal. Alright, I'm gonna play alerts. <laughs> what will it be? Bug? Please give bug. 1862. From Golang says, you could fish while doing disc only. I mean, I would need to, like, record it. <sighs> and that would be hard. And the big brain energy is skip disc only and stream myself here instead of doing disc only. I got plans tonight, so you'd be doing that alone. I'll just watch the VOD later so I can see what happens. That would be so great if I was like, guys, sorry, something came up. Do the show without me. But then I'm live, and they're like... John's like, why is like, what are you doing? Live? Like, sorry, what, the thing that came up is that uh, Moon is a 1997 game and has bad game design, and it's going to take me forever to do this. I, I do... I am worried, though. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to get a little a little worried about this, because, like... <laughs> How many tries will it take? There is no telling. No. There's no telling. And I re I want to get this done before next week, so next week we can finish Moon. Oh, that's really scary. <laughs> it's really scary. We hate it being scary. From the time of a reset to finishing a fishing, a fishing tournament, my estimate is like six to seven minutes. So like in an hour, you can get maybe nine tries. <sighs> Arian says, you could fish for your solo stream tomorrow. Increasingly, I am thinking about that. And that makes me very sad. <laughs> it's time for my fishing contest. Yeah, I know. I know. Do you know how to fish? God, yes, I sure do by now. It's fine. It's totally fine. We had 49 months from Shenny Nerd. Uh, and 17 months from Microwave Dallas Dare. Thank you. I'm going to pause alerts in case this is the one. In case this is the one. This is a normal sized fish or a can. It's a fish. Remember try one when like you had one more click before the timer ran out? Yeah. Shut up. I don't want to think about the dark the the, the nice days. This is trash. Yep. Go for six, come on. This is a fish, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's two. That is two. Ooh, hard fish. Yeah. Really hard fish. I hate this. That's the fish three. There's probably no way to get two more fish. Trash. Yeah.
But that was the fifth thing caught. Yeah. It sure was. Food helps. Stop. If you don't get a big fish, you could catch six things. It, that it, you could, you could catch six things. But you have to get lucky enough to not get trash. <sighs> Summer Noir says, if you know it's going to be trash, I'd recast. You can't. You can uh, let it take the bait though. If the meter gets all the way to the left. Oh well. If you like spam A and don't do the timing, it'll do that too. Well. Okay. I don't know. People want you to try. I can try. Do you want me to get you the double food? Sure. Or can you? Do you can that? do it. Okay. You can do it. You just have to walk. I'm not gonna diagonal a lot. If I did it, I would just go straight there. We have a lot. We, I think we have some a reasonable <laughs> amount of evidence at this point that we should use the food. Because we've had some long times without food, and we've never had a time quite that long with food. So I'm I'm in food camp. Uh huh. I don't know if double food is real, but like food is real. I'll try the stick. I'm gonna use the stick. Oh, I'm unfamiliar with stick. I'm not gonna get double food. I haven't used the stick the whole game, and now I'm like, ooh. Chess said there's a Japanese language post that says if you bring exactly five bait, finish without wasting bait, catch five things regardless of what they are, for some reason it will say you caught 150 fish and give you the win. What? <laughs> sorry, sorry. What? I do not know if real. So like, this is, you know, this is a re-release. Mm -hmm. um, who did the translation, Tim Rogers? Tim Rogers did the localization, but Onion, Onion Games are the ones that pulled out the code and made it work I for know. the new stuff. Tim said that they did not change any graphics in the game because yeah. he wanted to name her Chris C R Y S, but um, because her she's named after Krista, the girl that used they did the voice. Yeah, and they didn't change her sign that has her name on it, so they didn't change any in-game graphics. Yeah, there's no said. graphics change, just the yeah. So but... it's hard to know if there were any bug fixes or anything between the re-release and the initial release on the PS One. Sorry, I got a, a, a reminder to eat the sashimi with you. We did. We did it. Um, yeah, we don't know if there's bug fixes. If there's not, that's worth trying. And I am willing to do one more try to try after that. After my try. After Mal's try to do that extremely specific thing. Mm -hmm. it's not a... okay. So what was the... Okay. Oh, you, you go with exactly five bait and catch exactly five things, trash and all. That's very strange. All right. That's a very wild thing, but also real good. If true. Like, I will take a glitch to win. Absolutely. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not against that. I'm not against that. I'm not below that. It's true getting five things is an, or, an, or, an ordeal in and of itself, but we've definitely done that. Yes. Like, that is doable. That we can accomplish. So... Whew. Anyway. Octolips eat. If you have to go with exactly five, I wonder if it can be stocked or not. I don't think it had any more information than that. Because the only way to get rid of the bait is to, like, use it. We'd have to show up to the fishing hole early, fish to get rid of the bait until we have mm -hmm. exactly five, and then do it. But is it worth a shot? Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think so. 
Can you eat the bait? That's a great question. I don't know. We could try that. And it's not like this is impossible. There's people in our chat that have done this. Yeah. And I know that they're starting to think, wait, am I the luckiest person on the planet that it, this worked out? I don't know. I don't know. Snowfox says, I tried eating the bait. It doesn't let you. No. You want to take it from here? Yeah. We're on single power. I didn't, I didn't get there quite fast enough to do double power. It's because I was using the stick and I walked in the wrong direction at some point. Is this 13th try? I think so. 13th try! Good luck, Mel. Thank you. This feels like trash. No? Fish, mache, Sunfish. mache. Going for the recast. Pink fish. Mache, mache. Recasting. Come on. Three fish. You have enough time if they're if they're fast. Let's try that glitch. Let's try that glitch. We love glitches. Glitch time. Mm -hmm. Glitchy glitch glitch. From a Japanese post on a forum from probably like 1997. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take anything I can get. 2008. So not even the re-release. Just someone that was just playing the PlayStation game 11 years after it came out and was like... Hey, there's this weird glitch. Okay. So to clarify, Chaz, go in with exactly five bait mm -hmm. and just catch, catch five, five things and finish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm worried about stalking. Like I don't know if stalking would count. So my instinct is to go straight there and waste bait before he wakes up. That's my, that's my. Do it. That's my take. Cause you're going to reload if it doesn't work. And like, who knows what else? You do have more bait in stock right now. Just so you're aware. I do. I think so. I took it all out. Did you? Yeah. All of it? Mm -hmm. You may want to check, but yeah. And, like, this could be, like, move the truck to get Mew. <laughs> like, who knows? And then there could be other things that contributed to that glitch that that person didn't know, right? Maybe. Like, it could have been that the, the bait was in a specific inventory slot or whatever. Like, who knows? Games are weird. But am I willing to try it? Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's take a look at what I got. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight bait, and I'm pretty sure I have none in stock. Tool. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I need to waste three. 
Go fishing? Does time pass when I fish? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's kind of convenient. I guess I don't need to catch this, do I? Right? Don't know. One more. Big fish. You can also let it break, I think. This is like crazy big fish. This is the fish you do not want in the yeah. fishing tournament. All right, no, 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 you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done, stop, stop. Put it away, put it away. So, just to check, we have one, two, three, four, five, bait. We are going for 2008. Chess says, talk to him a couple times when you finish it, it might be the bug. I found a video of the bug happening. Oh, snap. Okay. So the bug might not have anything to do with the fish, it might just be like, well, let's do it. You All have right. five. It's time for my fishing contest. Yes, I would like to glitch your contest. Do you want me to teach you how to fish? Nope. Oh, Chaz says it multiplies your fish count by 50. I'll, 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 I'll do anything. So, let's catch things. things, right? Yeah, if I have to get five during this, this could still be difficult, but it's not impossible. Two. Two of something. Video games. <laughs> That's three things. I think so, you should talk to I'm him. I'm gonna talk to him. He fished out one, not quite enough to put you on top. The next contest is in seven days. 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 It might work with any amount of bait. That seems fair to try. As long as you can catch one fish and run out of bait. Ah! But we did catch okay. one fish and ran out of bait. And we didn't run out of bait. We didn't run out of bait. Mm. Okay. Maybe it's I'm... worth it to like leave the fish stocked. Leave the fish... What? Like, leave it in stock. Leave the fish stocked? Instead of trying to use them up. You mean the bait? That's what I meant. Yeah, okay, you gotta use the right words, because I'm like, wait, we should stock fish? Sorry, we are going to make this, we are going to do a one where the glitch, we do the appropriate things. The stream is going a little longer than planned. Moon is a uh, video game. Kiki. Sam says, maybe you should sell the bait. There's no time. There's not enough time from where I'm where I'm saved 
to go do to that. go do that. Mm -hmm. So I have to get rid of bait some other way. Maybe stock it. Continue. So the idea behind this glitch is that you're when you talk to him, it multiplies your. Can you toss things from stock? Oh, I'm not sure. That I don't know. Let me try that. So the, so the, I'm trying to understand the, the philosophy behind this glitch. So the idea is that you use your bait before the um, contest is over. And then you talk to him and it so you don't so you don't use up all your time. Chess says, if someone is better at Japanese than I am and see if there's more info in all the text at the end of this video, it's it's on Nico video. Are you gonna use it or stock it? Well, let's just let's see what we can do. Let me see what happens on here. No, it just pulls it up. Okay, so you can't... I would stock everything except three. Stock should be fine. You, you just need it to end early and talk to him, I think. All right, let's just do two. Three. Or three, whatever. I don't know if it matters. Okay, I've got three. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Sam points out last time you did only catch two fish. No, oh, Light Ross says they found a guide that says it doesn't work in re-release, so who knows? We truly live in hell. Okay, that's fine. Totally fine. It's time for my fishing contest. Yes, I would like to enter. Do you want me to teach you how to fish? No. Get ready. Big fish. It's a big fish. All right. So I have, I have three things. You need bait. Tells me to stop. That's enough for the win. The reward is 100 yen. I'm here. I'll give you something better if you fish out more than five fish, so keep at it. It's time for my fishing contest. I can enter again? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is something. If he remembers I have two, I wonder if I could catch three. I need to restock my bait. Hold on. Hold on, this could be something. It might not work, but it might. Okay. We want to run out of time, potentially. Chaz says, the speedrun guide looks like it's accurate about how to do the 50x, and it says not possible on Switch. Mm. Well, if he's going to let me fish again, I might as well just take all five out and just yeah. do it then. Yes. If that doesn't work. 
I didn't think we could do it more than once. Well, it's before noon. That must be why. Okay. You can't do it. You only had five bait. That's a suck. I swear to God, if I catch four fish. So Maybe he will forget. You don't know. Maybe I'll talk to him and be like, oh, we added the fish together. I don't know. I'm desperate, man. I gotta try and like, like, try something in my heart. Is this my last week? No, you have one more. Come on, 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 come on. Um, we, well, um, we didn't, um, do it. No? We, uh, tried very hard. We did not do it. Mm-hmm. That was, um, I mean, yeah, Flappy Bird's done. Yeah. That was, that's good. The setup time for Flappy Bird is instant also, which was nice. Yeah. As opposed to, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to reset the game. And the game has a very abnormally long startup time. And then... Go you, over to Wildcat Cafe. You want to go over there and eat some food. Maybe two. We don't know. Warp back over to home, talk to a plant, get sucked in and go to a different place, wander around, wait for a sec for a guy to start putting up flags, talk to him, and then pray to your god. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. This is literally the last thing we have to do in Moon. Yeah. Okay. We had 10 months from Chloe Siegel. 300 bits from Anne who says, this is the largest possible virtual hug because I think you need it. Thank you. I really, like, I, I thought we'd do it by the end. Like, at the beginning mm -hmm. when I realized that, like, oh, even with the food we're getting cans, I was like, that's yeah. bad because that could be any amount. But I was like, we'll probably get it by the end of the stream. Um... Nope. No. No, that's um not what happened. No. Three into bits from uh, Nebel Anna says sending good vibes for the next moon stream. 
Thank you. Have an eddy. <laughs> Satisfy your taste buds with Tiny Eddie's oil dusted wetsuit rings. Oil dusted. First off, can you do that? Can you dust mm -hmm. with oil? That seems hard. Yeah. Wetsuit rings. That's material. I don't think you're supposed to eat that. That's, That's from... a lot you're not supposed to eat from Eddie. <laughs> That's from Microwave Dallas here. It says, late birthday, Eddie. Intelligent One says, aren't those just oily tires? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think Ew. so. I would, I would not recommend eating that. No. Um, okay. Is it, is it, is Alistair's late belated birthday or are we wishing happy birthday to Tiny Eddie? Cause I don't remember when Tiny Eddie was formed. <laughs> I don't remember when that was. If it's Alistair, happy belated birthday. <laughs> if it's Tiny Eddie, I have no idea. What? It, me, I am five. 25. Okay. Alistair, happy belated. Happy belated. And Chaz said something. Chaz said, there's a trick to get two attempts in one day. Next week. That's helpful information. That's help. That's good information to know. Slightly, Slightly less, less painful. Anything. We, we would need more bait. We don't have 10 bait. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Which means. Yeah. Yeah. Going through the whole yeah. thing. That was a thousand bits from bacon with the not like this. Not like this. That is pain, yes. And a thousand bits from Mega Sam Art with the Jepson pain catch. All right, I need to go like. Yeah. Yeah, I need to go pray. Um, Chaz, what's the uh, what's the secret? I'm just curious. Yep. What what is what is the secret to doing that? Oh, he wrote it here. How to get two attempts? In that case, you have a chance to try the second time. If you quickly check Ego's memo and leave the message displayed, the clock hands will remain stopped while Mr. Gamakatsu prepares for the contest. Once Mr. Gamakatsu has finished his preparations, delete the message and talk to him, and the fishing contest will begin. What message? Ego's... Oh, the one um, that's on the back of the the cooking pot? The memo? That's, uh, behave. Oh. Ego is the, um... Isn't he the one that comes up to yell at us about fishing? He only shows up if you haven't seen him before. Because, um... Their Chaz says it's Google Translate, so the names could be wrong. Because all of their names... Where was he? Because it was Umi... But there is an ego, right? Femi... Eco. Eco. Eco is the other one. Was it Eco? Chaz says, also, it's just something red, so I have no knowledge of if it's real. I think, no matter what, this is just going to no, be Umi painful. No, Umi is that one. And it might be more painful to go get more bait... I think it's more painful to go get because more bait. Because then I have to wait an in-game week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <sighs> All right. Well, folks, Oh, thanks. it's Momi. Umi, Femi, and Momi. Eco's the organization. Folks, thank you for being here. Yeah. Um, Kitty. Uh... Do you have a raid? You have a raid message. That maybe Moon is pain. <laughs> moon fishing conspiracies. Fish to pain. These are all very good. It has been. Oh man, this is. Mm -hmm. I am tired. Capo, I'm tired. This still probably isn't as much time as we put into the factory. Normal Mayo Company. Okay. Oh, yeah, the pants are here. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> All right. Well, 
Join Steven tonight on Proton John Twitch channel for disc only. Yeah. At nine, right? Yeah, nine Eastern. Yep. Yeah. And then tomorrow Steven's doing solo stream. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what it's gonna be. That that it, I, hmm, it might be Moon. I know that folks are saying to do it next week so it would take up time in the stream, but we might not do it. Yeah. And that's also a problem because yeah. we need to finish Moon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Chacaron, Thanks everyone for being here. Uh, vlogs are scheduled every day for a while, which is great. Uh, anything about fishing being painful? Is the raid message? Is the raid message. Any of those are good. Let me pull this up. I should probably pull this up. Um, and uh, y'all have yourselves a good day. I will be streaming tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. I don't know what it I'm will be. I'm streaming Thursday night. I'm now streaming Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Patreon video tonight. Ish. Tonight ish. I'm recording it. Yeah. Today. Like right after moon. Hi again. Okay. All right. I'm sending the raid. I'm sending the raid. Roll. Oh my god. It's just. Look at this belly. It's just, Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. You smell like laundry. Ember Larson, so, so you did get the things. I did. The most painful. I was in purgatory earlier. Oh. Wow. Well, glad we raided you to maybe make it get longer. <laughs> well, yeah, from one purgatory to another. Yeah. Oh, my God. You can go get a chip now. Yeah, I, I think I deserve an yeah. ice cream. We do have ice cream. You know what? I think... I, you're very cute. I love you. Um, I think I'm going to have a, a, a tiny treat. Okay. And then... Um, and, and then I will, after I do the tiny treat, I will... Um, take care of the Patreon video. I have I have all my bullet points, and as of recent, I have what I need to talk about why I was holding off. Um, so that's good. All right. <laughs> Sorry, it's just been a day. It's just, it's just been a heck of a stream. I will see. You. Want some fish for dinner? No. No. I mean, I did eat fish on stream. Uh, I will see y'all tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern for something. And, um, you know. Something. See, see you then. <laughs> <laughs>